Oh yeah. What else can we take here? <laughs> what does fill up? Oh, that'll be enough for now anyway. Let's check the equipment. I don't need no hogs here, man. I don't need you. Do want an elk caller? Dear Grunt. A uh, case of puma comes along, I suppose. And we need a wolf caller. Oh yeah. Uh, we are right near my little elk stand up here. Oh, I didn't bring the dog, did I? Good, we don't need it for now. Beautiful morning at Timber Golf. Now, hopefully, we have a. I haven't been here for ages actually, for a while. Especially uh, since Halloween, really. We've been going to a lot of other maps. <laughs> White Heart. Oh, got a female elk out there. We don't want her. We want her dad. <laughs> or her uncle. So there's me a uh, little stand here. It's a nice little stand. So we'll get in it. And the thing it does is make you... Uh, are we standing up? Yeah, see, sometimes it makes you bob down for some reason. So we do have an elk caller here. I just whack out a few calls. I also uh, have a deer grunt caller. No, we don't want her coming in, but I'm <laughs> pretty sure she will come in. She's out that way. It's a nice foggy morning, actually. Very nice. This is usually pretty good for elk. You actually get wolf running through here and the odd bear, grizzly bear. You get the odd mule deer here, but it's sort of, I don't know why I don't get as many here. But yeah, they do pop out every now and again at this part of the map. Now we are, where are we here? So there's that outpost. So we're over here. And there's that weird looking lake thing that joins the river. So yeah, we're hunting around here for the moment. And, uh, yeah, see so how we go. I just want to see if we can get an elk or two. Ooh, something's running in, man. Where is it? Oh, <laughs> there it is. Hello. Now, this can be a real pain when there is a male near you. If it, you know, freaked out and ran off, then it would scare the male off. Like that. Now, that won't come back, hopefully. Well, it will come back eventually, but that's because they're crazy. <coughs> crazy is not what we want today. <coughs> Unless it's crazy big. That's my wolf call. We try that. They do come in. Not that. This. That's if they're around. <coughs> They do move through sort of every part of this map, Dwarf. Except for up the top, of course. Where the big horned sheep are. That's all we get up there, that and the flying rat. <laughs> up that part of the map. Oh, we've still a few more calls. Oh, okay. That was a male. That was a male. And that is just out there somewhere. Oh, I think I can see it moving through the thing there. Ah, oh, it's only tiny, man. Oh, well, it's a start to the day. It is very, very... Yeah, that is uh, tiny for a Rocky Mountain Elk. And it appears to be alone. Every now and again, they will come in a little uh, sort of tribe. So, I'll just keep calling it. Gives us... Uh, I hear another footsteps. All right, we've got one behind us. Which is also sort of average. 
And see why I'll can't hear because it's just so good. Oh, you can stop any time, bud, or there, right there. All right, so that one was a bit bigger than the one that's in front of us. So we've got one. We've got another one coming in. Oh no, it's a, uh, oh, the female has made it run there. Uh, see, the bloody female. Uh, I can see you there, bud. Got another elk at the back there. What are you? Another female. And another female. Damn, plenty of elk around. Oh, there's a wolf. Check the wolf out there. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, man. Oh, they all ran. We had a whole pack of wolf. There goes another one. So that wolf call, we done the one call. Crazy. One wolf call, and I had a whole pack coming in. So you can see, this area is not bad. We're going to keep calling elk. As we actually have a lake. You know, the lake is over here behind us. So you have elk coming up through here and through these woods all here. That's why you get the wolf and the bear as well coming through. Now we better load our guns. Did I load the bull pup? I didn't know. We're going to load the pistol. This is our friend of the bear. So <laughs> this is what we use on the grizzly if they get too close. Use the 454. We won't be using it on the elk. Well, not right now. I'm trying to be very quiet. What if those wolf would come back? I actually thought I heard a doggy sound out there. We only blew that once, and next minute we had a whole pack of wolf coming in, man. Oh, I've got a female elk coming in. Um, yeah, we might kill her to get rid of her. They're so annoying, the females. I hate wasting our arrows on them. If it stops, it's dead. Uh, looks like you don't like living. There's another one coming in. Go away! Go with too many female elves. Uh, and there's another one there. Something's coming in. There's the wolf. Oh, God. I'll go for the wolf if I can with this. Just I'm gonna kill all these females if I can, just to get rid of them. Area seems pretty good today. Wolf, elk, just too many female elk. All right, so we've got one male elk behind us. Oh man, we've got a few dead in front of us, and that wolf. And there is another female elk there. We did have one male runoff because of the whole, it was a bunch of wolf and these dumb elk. Oh my god. Uh, lucky last, are you going to come up and die with your friends? <laughs> We'll try and get rid of all these females anyway in one big hit. As they've already, you know, ruined one sort of thing, and we're sick of it already. Alright, now let's go pick her off and up. We'll get out of here just for a tick and uh, go pick her off and up, because it's a big mess. Uh, we'll start here behind us and get our only male out so far. It's only small. What are we going to get? We're going to get 31. I was going to say we might get 30. Oh, my compound bow reached uh, level 18. Very nice. So I'll just get rid of these females. Because, uh, you know. Let's check the wolf. Oh, right through the head there. Nice uh, shot. That's a female. And we're at 27. 
So you're not too bad. Oh, yeah, I got a, I am in a, a wolf thing with a bow. I forgot all about that. That's it. Uh, yep, thank you. Don't need that. Ah, uh, now hopefully that's the end of the females for a little bit. Because there's just too many of them. Right, can you pick up? Thank you. Uh, like you asked, and I'll keep calling. Hopefully now, <laughs> any ones that come in a male because I've killed all the females. Well, one would hope. Anyway, so we've got a ton of them. There is a track there. I don't know what the hell are you from. Better not be a female elk. Alright, so back in the stand. Alright, so far so good. Just too many females. So, you know, we've killed a lot of animals. But I'm not going to make a lot of money doing that. How many bows do I have left? I had ten in there. Uh, okay, we got three. We shot seven animals. Beautiful. And only <laughs> two were worth money. I try those wolf again. Now, they came in really quick. I'm looking for number eight here, sorry. My bad. The wind is blowing in from this way. As you can see, the leaves. Ah, uh, elk and a mule deer. Like I said, I don't seem to get as many mule deer on this part of the map. For some reason. Now there is puma probably around here as well. I do have a caller for them. This caller. I think they answer to a jackrabbit, like uh, all the other cats. But uh, highly unlikely it's going to come in. <laughs> uh, and hopefully now we can uh, just start reeling in male elk. And you never know, you're lucky. I've been uh, here before and a bear has walked past me like a grizzly. And then I see him on the road. I've been attacked by him in here. <laughs> Females are pretty cool. They're very aggressive. I think I heard some, did I hear a noise out there? Probably not. Sound a little bit like a wolf rustling in. I'm probably hearing things. Oh, we had a female uh, black tail call out there by the sounds of it. I mean, uh, mule deer. I mean, I have black tail here. I've been hunting black tail that much lately. You know, my brain, I haven't hunted a mule deer in a long time, man. I haven't got a decent one in a fair while. So it'd be nice to get one of those today. We'll see how we go. We'll start here. We mainly get elk. Um, then we'll move you know, around the map. Go along the river also a bit later and see if we can find uh, a grizzly or two. But yeah, man. I like this uh, little spot here. I'm going to try it off again. It was nice seeing that whole pack come in. I didn't realise they were all there. I could only see the first wolf. And I saw them all run off. I went, ah, very nice. Now we know there's a male that's out there. It ran off. We uh, it got uh, scared. It ran away. <laughs> We've got some really nice elk here. So, you know. Hopefully, stay here a little bit. It's good to be back at Timbergold. I've been going to White Hart Island and Hammerdale a lot this year so far. Chasing reindeer and white tail and black tail and brown bear. I like the brown bear. Right at Hammerdale. Sounds like every now and again I hear my dog. Like I know my dog's not out. It's in the tent, right? Yep, no green. Oh, that's that female mule deer. Oh, she's right there somewhere. 
I've got a few male mule deer here, but I have better mule deer spots that seem, you know, hot Oh, there's a wolf. Uh, so the, that wolf's coming in on the call. It's another female. I thought I heard a dog sound. Oh, there's another wolf. Oh, that's an, I like that colour wolf. Lovely. Oh, hit the ass. Hit the back of it. Should die, I'm hoping. Won't worry about it right now. Oh, there was that it running up and down in there. I don't know if the one at the back's still coming in. We'll call it. <whistles> Alright, that's my worst shot of the day so far. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a bunch of them out there. They're not coming up on hunter, mate, but they're just all howled. Oh, we'll see what happens. We had one at the back. It might have got scared when I shot the other one. It might have ran off. And then I heard another group of them out here somewhere. That was probably the little bunch that come in earlier. Man, I've got to get different binoculars one day. <laughs> I was thinking about buying the dog backpack so it can carry extra um, ammo and stuff in it, as far as I know. You can't put a gun in it, but you can put, like, ammo. Or you'd put your first aid kits and, you know... Just like an extra pouch. Yeah, I don't know what these wolf are doing, man. We'll try them again. And remember, we have one out there injured. Hopefully it dies, because it looks like I hit it in the back leg or the butt. If I hit the intestine, it will slowly die. It will bleed out. If I didn't hit it real good, it lived for a while with an arrow in it, if it was just in its back leg. I don't use tracers, so, <laughs> you know, I can't just look at the map later and go, oh, there it is. I actually want to put a... Uh, Probably some more tree stands and towers and that on this map pretty soon. As I buy more equipment, I'm going to start dumping more on this map and uh, and probably White Heart a bit more, a couple more things at White Heart. And uh, yeah, just see how we can uh, yeah make it better. Yeah, we've got this here. We've got to stand there, stand there, stand there. Tree stand there, which I might move. Double tree stand there. Another tent over here, tent there, tent there. And up here I have a, a tower, which I might move because it's for the sheep. I was doing it along the ridge there. Every now and again it works pretty good, but uh, yeah. Might work better down here for <laughs> elk and mule deer. <laughs> Oh, since we cleared out all those females, we don't even hear an elk now. Oh, I heard a doggy sound. Yeah, there's something here, man. I, just, I don't know where yet. Oh, I heard the wolves again. There's something here, man, a dog sound. This fog is killing me. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh man, it's so hard at the bow and arrow sometimes. There's another one wounded. I'm hoping that I get too far. Like the arrow does go in pretty, you know, pretty far. 
I might actually look for those two just while we, uh, you know, might as well. They sort of ran both the same way. So we'll try the first amount of blood here, which is body. See how we go. Um, my wolf tracking is in a superior, so <laughs> there's blood here. Uh, we've got to watch out for grizzlies when we walk through here. Not that I don't, I don't mind. You know, I'm happy if the grizzly comes to uh, attack me. That is not a problem. Like I said, we had the 454. I think I'm in a competition for grizzly. You got to one shot kill them. So. 454 will do that. Oh, this should be a fleeing, it is. We can call Alk as we come through here also. Alright, so I've got 200 wolf. Um, my aim on them is sometimes bad with bow and arrow. It's because they move around so much, they're a bit squirmy. More blood. As long as it keeps bleeding, we've got a chance of it dying, you know, sort of, hopefully a bit quick. I'm not going too far, man. At least we're out walking now. Uh, we've got a couple of tracks here. One will be probably coming in, one will be fleeing, or one will be blood. What's going on? All right, you flee this way. Okay, so this should be blood. I'm hoping no, you're coming in track. We'll keep going this way. But then it fleed back on itself. Could have. I'm not sure it would have. Oh, where's your next track, buddy? Did you flee back on yourself? Because the track shouldn't be that far apart. You know, wolf tracking isn't that bad. Oh, I got one over here. So it was, what have we got up here? Any of these other wolf tracks with blood? This could be the other one we wounded running out that way. Ah, oh, you're fleeing. So I found it. Oh, come on. Where, where is my wolf man? The wolf man! Alright, it's still bleeding, so that's good. And we've got a circle, which means that it could be dead up here. Now we have to go back and look for the other wolf. Might as well collect them all. Um, you know, <laughs> we'll get a nasty letter from Doc saying stuff to us. Yeah, it's like my favourite map. I really like it. It just has it all. As you know, forested areas, sort of open areas. It has the river. Here's some more wolf corn in the distance. Oh, we've lost the circle, so that's not good. That means it's not dead just up here somewhere. And the sun is fully coming up now, pretty much. Now, at least we get to stretch our legs and go for a walk. This does help get your tracking up, even though it's a, a bummer to do sometimes. You'd rather be hunting instead of shooting uh, crooked, <laughs> tracking crap, and uh, it's all part of it, isn't it? And then uh, you should learn your lesson and shoot straighter, son. <laughs> so I've done it twice, so my bad. Uh, I've got one over here. Did it move that way? Oh, this wolf is going crazy, man. Is this fleeing? Is it blood? Yeah, it's fleeing up over. Really? It's going backwards now? Oh, is this wolf been licking mushrooms? Let's have a look up here. I'm not sure if it went backwards there. Uh, we've got a track up here. Bears can do this. They can run in circles and all over the place. And man, they can confuse you. If you get a bad shot on a bear and just make it run crazy. Are right, you still fleeing? Good. Good wolf. Keep fleeing. Just die. Will you die? Would you die, please? 
it would do me such a big favour. I just have no idea where I hit it. It just says body, so I'm, you know. You, you know, you got that whole middle of an animal and you miss it. You know, you got all the, there we go, a bit more blood. You got all the organs. You got the intestines. Any, you hit any of those. <laughs> the liver, uh, the thing's going to bleed out and die. As long as the liver shot will kill it straight out. It'll just put it straight down, liver shot. All right, so let's run across the road. Man, it is, uh, it is um, happening, this wolf, isn't it? Truck up here. I must have hit it really bad. Uh, another track up here. I'm half hoping a grizzly comes out and tries to kill me. It's the blood going, doesn't it? It's the blood rushing. Ah, oh, where are you, buddy? Now I want to make, um, got to get some more GM happening. Like I've got, um, 23,000, but it's not a lot, is it? You buy like a, a tree stand or camping tent, you know. Damn, this wolf, man. It's bleeding every now and again. Uh, could this be its body down here? Hey, Rampage, how you going? And Haggis, how you going, man? Sorry about last night that I'd done the stream alone. It's just that I wanted to get some of my um, missions done because I haven't done them for ages. And sometimes when we go on the mob, I get, you know, we get stuck into talking and mucking around. I end up, you know, so you don't get as much done. Look at that, it's got like a, a grey on its chest. But it's one of those red wolves. It looks very nice. I like these red ones. They look really cool. So we'll grab him. It's a 52 kilo. Should get, oh yeah, 30 to 15, 1, 6. Uh, it's just a comedy, a uh, common, a comedy. It's common, I'm a comedy. All right, so let's head back. We've got another wolf that we have to find. Always fun when you're <laughs> injured too. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, just that, you know, sometimes I just wanted to get some done. You know, I enjoyed it actually. It was fun to be back in that game. I was thinking about it today. I had a really good time. I did get stuck on one mission and it took me like the third time to do it, to work out how to do it. And I got in one of their mom and car things, <laughs> which had uh, guns on it. And start to take everyone out. Was that helicopters coming? I was in one of them, uh, like the army camps, the proper army. And I had to uh, kill this dude, then take a photo of him, identify him. Oh man, <laughs> that was tough. But yeah, I think third, fourth time I got it done. But that is a good game. You know, for the price that it was uh, on for at the sale. I think I've been playing like 60 hours and it. We've still got plenty to go. Getting ready for a stream tonight. We should do a session with Skippy and Boom Sling. Yeah, we should, man. We should. You know, get all the everyone's levels right with their microphones and uh, it should be a good thing, mate. Now that Skippy doesn't have the issues, because that was a bit of a hassle when he was um, he was having all those issues. Uh, I'm just going to dock, so I'm making sure I'm walking straight to this. 
Because the wolf ran pretty much straight out from there. So I'm looking for a bit of blood. I might find some up here. You bought the other one too. Yeah, I've seen bad reviews of that. And the other one I looked on there, you know, I don't mind. But I looked on their site. I can't, where do you buy the games on there? It says games and it just shows me my games. <laughs> it shows me the games I own, not what they have for sale. So, you know. I love the size of the, the map, is huge. And the helicopters are easier to fly. Just like games you can sort of get into and, you know. And I like FPS, so it's pretty cool. Skippy is streaming with you tonight, but he has... But uh, has been sounding good. Uh, so when are you, what time are you streaming tonight? You mean tonight, tonight, or tomorrow, tonight? Tonight. <laughs> It depends what time you just do it. I might even be able to join later. But I do want to have a you know half decent hunt here because I haven't been here for a while. Old Tim Gold. It's a beautiful, beautiful map. Uh, none of these got blood yet. Oh, so we can hear wolf. Female roaming. And she is right down from where I, where I was calling earlier. Okay, are you kidding me? Alright, you think there's a story? I'll have to look for it then. So I remember when you and Boomsling told me, I go, I have a look. Cause he, I think he's telling me it was six bucks or some stuff. And every time I press games, they're just showing me my games and I couldn't find where to buy them. I go, okay. <laughs> I'm honestly looking in the wrong, uh, wrong spot there. Alright, this was bound to hear me coming anyway. As I go crouch, it's just here somewhere. See if it comes to the call. Will it be dumb enough? I'm pretty sure it would have heard me coming already. Do I have an arrow in me thing? One. <laughs> One arrow in me, um, bow. It's nice to see so many wolf around here. Just in case anyone's wondering, we're on this part of the map here. So there's that outpost there, near this crazy lake. I'm just back in here. And it's a nice uh, elk area. And as you can see, there's a few wolf, and you get the old grizzly. Trying to kill you. <laughs> About an hour. All right. Oh, but you're, you're hunting tonight. You're doing uh, Call of the Wild. All right. Yeah, we'll have to make a time. Or we'll do that... Um, Tom Clancy's soon. Oh, there's a good game. Right, we're still looking for blood. I'm just trying to get onto it before I have to get right down where it is. You can play it for free if you download the trial. Alright. And give it a trial before buying. Yeah, because when I read the reviews, everyone says Wildlands is the best, is the better one. And the other one, Breakpoint. Like, I don't know, I've only played one. I just go by the reviews sometimes. But if it's like $6, I'd buy it. But I really do like uh, Wildlands. I think that's an awesome game. It's cool, an alcohol uh, wandering around like an idiot. <laughs> All these wolf tracks everywhere. Breakpoint. Oh, no, it has more of a story. Yeah, I know Wildlands doesn't have a really big story. It's like, go out, catch that dude, kill this dude, blow up the cocaine lab. <laughs> go grab this person and bring him back. <laughs> that doesn't have a really big uh, story involved in it. But, you know, I'm happy. I don't care if it does or not, because I'm just really there for the FPS. I like the gunplay in that, that game. Guns do what they're supposed to. They work like they should. They feel right in your hand. From, you know, sniper to assault weapon to an SMG. They've all, all got their good feel to them. Even the pistol feels really nice. And that's what I like in a game. I just like it to feel right <laughs> with the guns. 
and the um, you know the NPCs that you fight. Some of them they, they do you do get killed a bit. They, they put up a bit of a fight to you. I think you can you know make that higher by um, taking off indicators, so you don't exactly know exactly where they are. Instead of like now we get that orange warning or whatever. So you can make the game a bit more real if you want. I might do this playthrough and then I'll do a more real playthrough where I can't, there's no indicators and crap. But I do enjoy it. I even like driving the cars. Because, you know, I go crazy when I drive the cars. <laughs> or the trucks or the helicopter. And they've got them boats in it. It's got everything. It's pretty cool. They actually have, I've seen llamas and stuff, so you can, uh, big pigs, you can get hunt, but then I suppose there's not that many animals in it, but there is animals in the game. Uh, do we have blood with you? We did hit a wolf and it ran off, and there you go. Oh, I should I just get down for a minute? We heard an elk. Let's get back in our little thingamajig here. Now this wolf, that wolf should be dead because that was the first one we uh, miss hit and it ran off. I didn't catch where this elk was, so it sounded like it was over there somewhere or down here. So we're getting our stand anyway, and we're sort of out of the way and can see all around us. Alright, let's get in. I'll uh, we'll stand up because uh, I'd prefer to stand. <laughs> uh, it didn't sound too far away either. Yeah, I've, been, I've, I've seen Skippy been playing Call of the Wild a lot lately. I'm still not into it. And plus, still my game, I can't hear when I'm breathing. If I'm holding my breath, or if I'm not holding my breath. So, yeah. It sort of makes, you know, that's why I play this more. <laughs> At the moment. Plus, I love this game anyway. I really do like the classic. Uh, it's a bit more dangerous that's coming this way because the wind now is going to be blowing towards it. So, it may uh, pick up when I'm here. We'll find out. And then once, you know, if this elk comes in, we get it. Then we'll try and get this other wolf eventually. Uh, it's back past my tent, I think. they got a tent down there. So we won't be able to see it just yet. But it should be on the way in. Update coming Tuesday. Oh, for the Call of the Wild patch? Well, hopefully that fixes it. It's been... As soon as they put out that Mississippi map, it broke it. You know, what's that been? Like eight weeks ago or something? Ten weeks ago? It's been broken for a while. And I just thought, damn, well, you know, I, I'm sick of... That's a game-breaker for me. It takes my immersion away. So, no. Nah, you know, I can't play it till they fix it. That's all good. I'm not really missing it, you know, so... No big deal, really, for me at the moment. <laughs> Hey Kern, how you going? Kern Thomas. Well, that's good they're updating it Tuesday. When is the... I, I think the content creators get the guns this weekend, don't they? Then everyone else gets them next week or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's how it's working. Something like that, that's what I heard anyway. Why don't the content creators get the guns for free? You know, if they're putting them out there and they go, here, use it before everyone else, do you get it for free? <laughs> or do you have to buy it still? Right, it's this weekend. Fair enough. I'll check probably DD's one out on it or something, but I'm not overexcited about these guns. We've had a semi-auto on this game for years. 
I do use it, but you know, I think in the call of the wild it's going to be really deadly because sometimes you shoot a, a deer in that and all the other ones just stand there. They don't run away, they just stand there. So you just go boom, 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 get five uh, <laughs> five mule deer or something in a row or whatever, which is cool, you know. Releases on Tuesday, all right. Oh, and they do get it for free. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> Are they? I thought they would, because if they want you to use it, you're probably going to get it for free, right? Because it shows it off to the community before it comes on sale. You know, everyone gets, oh, yeah, I want to buy that, want to buy that. Oh, how many arrows do I have in this again? Just the one, isn't it? Okay. It's uh, taking its time. There shouldn't be one over that way and then one over this way. I don't know. Is there two? I think there might be two. And it's going to rain. Now, I thought they'd probably get it for free. Well, then maybe they get the maps and then the DLC map for free as well because they get it a week before everyone or whatever. That's not a bad look, eh? <laughs> well, they get it for free. I don't even get to use it before everyone else. <laughs> ah, it's all good. I just wish these all could, uh... Show yourself. Do not be scared, my friends. Ah, oh, here we go. It's hiding in the bush, man. It's the biggest one of the day so far. Please come out of the bush. Little buddy. I can just see you moving there. You can do it. I just want to walk out a bit because if I shoot here, it's just going to hit foliage or something. There we go, there we go. It's not too bad. I'm just going to rest for a minute. I don't know if there's another one coming in. Might as well put them two in there to get rid of them. Let's give another call in case. I thought there was one at the back, but maybe it was this one moved across. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Talking too much. Go and have dinner. All right, no worries, man. Take it easy, man. Have a good stream. Enjoy our uh, call of the wild there. Well, like you said, we'll all catch up and we'll, all four of us will get into uh, Wildlands and uh, do a stream. Fun game. Oh, am I going to pick this up? I think uh, maybe there's another one coming in. Oh, no, there is another one coming in. I was right. There is two. So let's... We'll try it on top of me. Let's get back in. Hello, don't look at me. I'm not here. Where are you, you beast? Oh, there you are. You're hiding in the bushes too, man. It's like a... We're all wearing camo today. All right, is there another one coming? Look at them two just laying there together. Sleep it off, buddy. You'll be right. I'll give one more call in case there is. A, there was two, so I was right. You should do the ten-point crossbow. I don't have a ten-point crossbow. Um, it's only I got this and uh, the Parker Python. The only bows I actually have it at the moment. So yeah, I would. I do a lot of the missions. Um, I'm in one with the wolf. I shoot it with a, a compound bow or, a, you know, some sort of bow. I'm in one with the elk. I think it's your biggest three elk. I'm in one with mule deer. I think it's your biggest two mule deer. And I am in a grizzly bear one, which uh, there's a female, which, um, yeah, killing a, a grizzly with one shot. But I can hit two sets of feet, I think. Yeah, there's um, two females. There's something in the bush here as well, again. Let's just check it's not a male. No, it's not a male. All right, I think all the males are in. I think we've done them, and now we're just going to get these pesky females. So I'm getting out of here and uh, scaring the females. Let's see how, how long it takes her to notice I'm here. Hello. You want to be hunter-mated? Here we go. hunter meet you, mate. Oh, oh, look how dumb you are. Hello. hello. Oh, hello. My camo must be awesome today. What, what are you doing? That is insane. I've never had him do that before. Oh, so, oh there we go. It took you about 
<laughs> 30 seconds to realize. All right, let's pick up these. Uh, they're not they're not huge. Uh, all right, so we're going to 272. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, 48 GM. They're still small for a, a Rocky Mountain elk. And we'll grab this little buddy here. Uh, you will weigh 324. And you're going to give me 52 at 292. So let's just have another look at this wolf down here. See if we can find it in between killing elk. Uh, here's a blood. Now it should be dead out here somewhere. Hey Boomslang, hey guy man, just got to work. Happy Friday if it's your Friday. Well, it's actually Friday night here now. Um, we sort of had our Friday, but yeah, Friday night. The weekend is on, my friend. And I thought I'd start it with a classic stream. Just saying to uh, Haggis was here before, we have to soon get together and have another Wildlands uh, crazy day. Get Skippy, you, Haggis and me. And we'll go uh, shoot a Columbia up, mate. <laughs> uh, so this is no roaming. Got to find the fleeing one. Where the hell did you flee out, crazy wolf? What did I miss? I'll just walk up and down this line for a tick. Uh, we've got something over here. Hopefully this is fleeing or blood. It'd be nice. Either one. Yeah, hit tier one. Yep. All right, you're roaming, so you're just, just as... You know, good. Yeah, hit T1, so pretty cool. I do enjoy that game, it's just so much fun. Uh, you got blood? You know, you're just roaming again, right? I've got to go back here to find this fleeing in the blood one and see which way it ran out. Too many tracks of this wolf coming in and out, man. It's a pain in the A. Alright, this is our. I think I'll ask for anyone here. A blood. Alright, we've got blood. So, Alright, tell me what. We're not gonna. We're gonna stay on this line here and see what happens. That mode is super hard. Yeah, I won't be playing that mode at the moment. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick to uh, what I'm doing at the moment. I remember you saying you got you get shot once and you're down in that mode. Oh, damn these rocks, man. Make them so physical. Some of them should be non-physical, so you just walk through them or something. Are you fleeing? You're roaming. We'll keep going this way. It seems to roam in fully out on the same area. Uh, this might need super dog. Track this one down. Dog tracks that are a lot better than me nowadays. Damn you, dog! I've taught it too well. <laughs> it's a better tracker than I am now. That bastard. I was actually a female. <laughs> uh, so where is the next running out fleeing track? Did it go straight across? Did it go crazy? I hope not. No, it's only a wolf, but I'm not finding it. I hate leaving um, animals out here, and it sort of affects your accuracy level on your weapon that you use when you left it out here. It's like you took a shot and you hit something, but you didn't pick it up. Oh, I might have to get Super Dog Man. The Super Sniffer. Because um, I don't have much luck. I really couldn't be bothered mucking around too much, so we're gonna run back and get Super Dog. It's in the tent, so I have to go pull it out of the tent. Yeehaw, girl. You get to do some work now. Alright. I actually like hunting with the dog just because I was doing a stand. I thought I'd just leave the dog in the tent for now. Yeah, there's no need to pull it out. 
So while we're at the turn, I'll grab uh, some extra ammo and crap. Because we've gone through already a few uh, arrows. All those females that came out and I sort of plonked them down. So here's the tent. Oh, beautiful, man. Alright, so equipment. We need a dog. We'll take uh, that dog. Thank you very much. And ammo. Alright. Uh, more ammo. And uh, a pack of them. I'm not really shooting that much today. We've got so much. Um, I do like using the arrows. So we're right there. Alright, super dog. Follow me, man. And just be sitting there. Uh, sitting on the tent. Super dog. Going on there. <laughs> there it is up here. Alright. Come to me, dog. Come on. There we go. She's woken up. She's on the job. So the luxury of having a dog is it makes you lazy when you're tracking. <laughs> but you can you keep tracking it as a dog tracks it, keep it up. But um, yeah, you're sort of like, oh, hey, where's the dog, man? Get the dog to do it. But I'm confused here. I keep getting Roman tracks, in and out tracks. All right, where are you, dog? Here, come out. Now, do not fail me. I've gotten you out for this, especially. All right, you, uh, you doing it? You sniffing it? All right, she's off. All right, I don't need to run. Now, she gets confused. That's, uh, don't, then it <laughs> uh, vilifies me that, uh, yeah. Nah, she's right, she's on the track, so I've got the blurred. Now past this I keep getting Roman tracks, which uh unless it broke both its legs. It shouldn't be Roman, it should be running man. Alright, so the dog went past that track without sniffing it. That's a Roman track. Oh, so it must have run out this way. Oh, it rained early here on this map. Uh, it's stopped now, which is good. All right, here's our next one out. Now, hopefully this wolf didn't get as far as the first one we miss hit because uh, that got pretty far. Uh, blood, that's what I want to see. More blood. Know that it's bleeding out and it will be dead very soon. <laughs> it should be dead now. Yeah, it was like half an hour ago we shot this thing. There you go, once you find that track out, look, it's going pretty straight now. As the dog turns. <laughs> She's going over that way. So the wolf turned. What are you doing, dog? Man, he's going the opposite direction of what the cone's telling me to go. And as a, if you're a new player and you don't have the dog, this is where you lose animals. Even me, I could have lost this. But wow, it's turned completely around the opposite way. I've got two tracks here, dog. All right, now we're going this way. A track down there. Oh man, this wolf is like running around in a circle in front of the tower here. I wonder it uh, could be confusing. I don't lose it now. Oh, that's a good girl. As long as you hate it, you see your dog standing and you go, all right, what's going on? <laughs> Ah, blood, we got blood, that's a good thing. It's quiet in this forest today, I'm telling you. It's, it's eerie. Great place to have the werewolves in this map. 
Because when they do that, this map looks so spooky. Because it's like, in, you know, <laughs> almost dark here. Almost night time. Oh, look, so there's another track up here. Yeah, so this wolf run around a semi-circle in front of the tower. Now it's come out this way. I'm hoping it's dead. Because it looked like we hit it in the butt or the back leg. Oh, yeah, I've got it up here. I think we've got a body up there, I think. Is that a body? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, she's barking, man. She's barking. Ah, oh, beautiful. So we got... Uh, we haven't wasted an animal yet today, though. We haven't lost any, which is good. Yeah, look at that. We did hit it sort of in the butt there, in the top of the back leg, or near the hip bone thing. We were up here. And it took six minutes to die, the poor thing. We went at 65. That could be the biggest wolf today. No, maybe it's not. Oh, stop running. I don't need to run. All right, now that we've started here, I'm going to move now on, on the map. What I want to do, I'm going to go back here. Because I usually always start in the middle, near a tower or, you know, somewhere. I'm going to start here where we usually start where the werewolves are. And just walk down. Just walk along the road and see what we can pick up. So, yeah, this is uh, usually where I start where the werewolves are. Now, which way will I come out? So, we can go out that way and go up there a bit. I might just come out. Hey, we'll go out this way. So there we go. And hopefully now we'll start. We haven't really, we haven't seen a mule deer yet today. So I want to get a few of those. I think there's a big competition this weekend for Alpine Ibex in this game. I saw the advertisement at the front. I didn't really look into it. But yeah, apparently there's going to be a, Alp, if you like Alpine Ibex, there's going to be a pretty big competition this weekend for them. It's probably on now. And it might be one of those, uh, so they have a mission where there's, you know, a competition where there's 10 prizes, so. And they're really good because then you get a whole heap of people joining uh, the competition. Which I like, I, I like the more the merrier for me. Because then if you do get a place in it, you've done really well. Ah, so we're in the sort of autumn part of the map. I do have the autumn ghillie suit, but I rarely wear the ghillie suits every now and again, but we'll just uh, keep the army clothes on today. And nice and quiet. All right, come on out. Yeah, so the loadout's only the one gun today, bullpup, I mean rifle, one rifle. Oh, that's not the bullpup, there's the bullpup. And we've also got our bear killer, just in case. They run up really close. Boom! And we're going to take them out. So nothing too exotic today in weaponry. Just the standard weapons. I bring the bullpup a lot. I really didn't have to today because it's fitting so much ammo. In. But I usually bring the bullpup because it's only weighs three and a half instead of four. We've most, most rifles weigh four or whatever. Alright, another elk. Alright, that's what we're looking for. It is up here. We're just going to go across the road over here. We'll get the dog to lay down. Right, come in this way, dog. Alright, so we'll get her to lay down, girl. And you stay. Uh, now I'm just trying to get an indication which way the wind is happening. Looking for leaves coming off these trees. I, I don't know, I can't tell at the moment. Now we know it's over here somewhere. I'm just going to back off a bit and just have a little binocular around. I still got the hunter mate, did it stay on there? Uh, yep, 
so it's down here. If it's really big, we might shoot it with the gun. Just so that it doesn't get away. Because I'm not sure which way the wind's blowing here. I don't bring wind indicators. Let's look up and... All right, the leaves are... Which way? They're sort of coming... Right, maybe they, the wind's sort of in my face. So it could be good. Could be good. You're in the way there, dog, a little bit. But not a problem. So we'll just whack out a few calls and uh, see if we can get this bugger in. And hopefully it's uh, a nice big one. <laughs> We've got one okay one, but, you know, they're just okay. They're not big. Uh, how's the stream? It's not chattering, so I actually kept um, the bit rate way up. <laughs> from, um... As when you do some games, you can have the bit rate a bit higher. And sometimes, you know, I've got it really high again. I think uh, Timber Gold Trails is not, not a problem. Did you white rhyme ridge that stutters if I have it up too high? Right. So we're just out of the lodge and we've got our first call, which is nice. It's like, you know, I'm usually up this part of the map when it's werewolf time. You know, I'll come sometimes up this road, and other times I'll go right down this road, down to here, and then, you know, you go across here and, you know, get killed a million times on the way down stuff. But, uh, so I thought we'll have a normal hunt around this area. As you do, the map is not a bad size, and when you start the hunt, sometimes you just get stuck in an area, especially if you go along the river. So every now and again, it pays just to venture out and check other parts of your map. You don't hunt a lot. I'm hoping this thing's coming. They can be sort of slow. I would call them mule deer as well, because I really want one today or, or more. The mule deer pay really well. If you're a new hunter, you know, an average mule deer, you can get 50 GM easy, just for an average size one. So they're worth hunting. I don't know if it's going to come up right up on the road or it's going to walk down here, maybe. That's if it's coming. Hey, Ethan, how you going, man? Hope you're having a good start to the weekend. Oh, maybe, you know... In Australia here, it's a uh, Friday night, so it's uh, officially start of the weekend. I really got to swap my chairs over soon. I'm sitting on a noisy chair, <laughs> and I got a really good gaming. Oh, you know, it's a better chair over just across from me. I got two desks. I should swap them out soon. <laughs> Oh, Alk, you're going to come? What are you doing? Give me another call. Make it known you are coming. It's a nice map, isn't it? It's really nice. Some parts are autumn, some parts are green. But I do want to put a few more, a couple more towers and probably a few more stands and tree stands here. As I do, you know, once I get into the timber gold, I do hunt here a fair bit. Although it's like all the animals that are here. The wolf, the grizzly. And usually it's not um, a boring map. It's a, uh, you know, in a decent hunt, you'll get a, you'll make a few GM and get a few nice, you know, few animals. But then if they don't come in, like this, I don't know if it's coming or not. Like, cold straight away, and then it hasn't done anything back since. But it looks like there's a... Might have a cliff to climb. <laughs> might not be able to get up there. Because over there, it seems to drop off. So I'm not, is that a cliff, or is it just the drop-off? 
should, you know, it goes down that way, so it should be fine. I'll give it another couple of minutes and see if it shows up. I like when they call back, and then you know for sure. You go, alright, it's coming. Oh, yeah, call back, good. Okay. Got a little call out of it. Oh, man, it's way down the, the other part of the road, dude. Well, I should see if we can see it. Right, we're going to just walk a bit here and just see if we can see it down here. We should still be far enough away for it not to hear us. The wind is in our face slightly, so once we get across this road, we'll go to Crouch and just have a look. I'm not sure how steep this is here, but it looks like it could walk up. It is a... It's an animal. <laughs> it's got four legs. Oh, we got buddy. Can we see you? Are you down by down here somewhere? Let's just try and be quiet. It was down near the road, right? And that's the road there. Damn, must be a small elk. I can't see it. <laughs> All right, let's give it another call. I just try and get down a little bit more, so I'm mixing with the green shrubbery. I'm standing out in the dirt there, so you get the shade a bit. Yeah, so the wind's good. You can see the leaves blowing across. Where the hell are you, dude? I mean, it's wearing camo as well, and I just can't see it. It's wearing an autumn ghillie suit <laughs> for elk. You watch, we'll do all this, and it'll be really tiny. we like this really tiny male. We're like, come on, man. Didn't move along. Like, even if it was on the other side of the road, it would have come up by now. There it is. Oh, is that it? Oh, there it is right there, man. I'm going to shoot it, actually. It's sort of looking at me. It's not big, though. But we did find it. I thought I was going blind there for a minute. or stupid. So I'll call the dog. Let the dog come over now. Alright, so another elk. Another male. It's a nice pose, isn't it? It's a huge one. You wanted a trophy shot. That is perfect. Sort of just have to stand behind it with the gun in your hand. But the tines aren't that big at the back. and Yeah, it's not going to be a very big score. Uh, 48. We hit the heart and the liver and the left lung. So beautiful shot. Done the damage. But uh, yeah. Oh, Doc. We're going to keep going down the road here, buddy. We'll get out of this zone where we just freaked all the... <laughs> Freaked all the animals out. Now shots like that, when the animal looks at you, you can go with the bow if you want. You've got to be usually pretty quick, because elk, usually male elk and deer, when they look at you, they know that something's wrong. They know something's there, usually. And uh, they'll go to that fight, you know, they'll sort of flee really quick when they do that. <laughs> The only bummer about using the gun now is with, you know, boom, right through the area. Which is okay. We're going to, you know, 
move around a bit now on the map. Walk down here like we're going on Werewolf Day for Halloween. It's the usual, my usual track. I actually do like the werewolf. Some people hate them. <laughs> it's only once a year, so... I think they're a bit of fun. You know, here, when usually when I get to here is when you usually get your first werewolf sometimes coming out of this crossroad here. It's the only time I use that pistol too. <laughs> I don't use it for any other animal. It's a powerful, what is it, a 308 uh, handgun? But it's a two second reload. It shoots one bullet at a time and it takes two seconds for the next for you to load the next bullet in. So if you have two werewolf run that, you better hope they're two seconds apart, or bigger, greater. <laughs> or you're gonna, you're gonna die, man. Uh, no signs of grizzly yet, or we haven't even heard one. I look forward to our first one. Usually do get grizzly here every time I hunt. So hopefully today's uh, no exception on that. And we'll just walk and call and see what happens. Imagine seeing a grizzly gun up there, mate. Just shoot it in the butt. It'd be awesome watching it fall down. <coughs> Any of you used to do the Valentine hunt? I meant to, but then I didn't hunt that weekend. They had a lot of... Com they had, um... What was it? It was, they had an elk one. I think it was a uh, Roosevelt elk or something. I actually like going on them. Like I was saying, there's one this weekend, the Ibex. So, yeah, check that out if you're a classic hunter. Because it might be one of those ones where there's 10 prizes, 200 people in it. <laughs> Everyone will be out shooting Ibex. <laughs> They're pretty good to hunt because you can't call them in. So you've got to sneak around till you see one. No mule deer yet. They're like my favourite deer in this game. So for now, we're just going to stick to the road. Because I never really do this that much. Just walk along this road. I usually hunt in the guts of this map. Right in the middle. Press Q and let the man walk by him, uh, his self. <laughs> Save my finger. Yeah, so hopefully I can make a few GM today. I just want to get more equipment. I think a tower is like 10,000. I think a single tree stand is like 7,500 GM. I think that double one that we'll stand it in earlier could be about 10 or 11, something like that. And a happy camper tent, depends if I'm special or not. <laughs> and soon I probably should buy a new gun. I'll just, you know... We'll have a look. I should buy a new gun or two soon. And they're usually around, you know, ten to twelve thousand GM, depending on what, what you're looking at. Or what just we got a bear. Got a bear on the road, man. And sometimes it's worth running at a bear. Sometimes. Sometimes it'll scare it off, other times it'll make it chase you. But we'll get closer to it. Right, here's this track here. It looks like it's been walking straight down the road, man. So female grizzly, they're usually fairly aggressive. 
Le feuille mort. Ah, it's just on this track. It should be on this road here somewhere. It looked like it was on the other side of the road. I was just walking down to that water down there. Oh, it's a bit more down here, I think. I'll stop running for a minute. track buddy surely you recross the road didn't you oh there it is there it is it's right ahead of us wrong 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 weapon it's around the side of the road there oh no don't run well, we hit it i think we've hit it in the test lines dog's gonna have a job Blood down here, my friends. Show me the blood. Right, that's where it ran out, and this should be where the blood is. Oh, dog, you ready, mate? I think we've hit it in the intestines or the stomach. Yep. Do your job, buddy. Come on, off you go. Now, intestine shot will kill it. Just uh, might run for a bit. All right, we've got plenty of time, mate. Let the dog track it. Levels her up. Helps me out at the same time. Like we proved it with that wolf. I had to get the dog out to find it. Yeah, see, with the bear, sometimes when you run at them, they'll either turn around and run at you, or they run the opposite way. But when they sort of first come out, they really, they were like attack bears. Nearly all of them attacked you. I don't know if they calmed them down a bit or what. But they still will attack you. Just, I don't know if they're doing it as much as, or maybe it was just... I wasn't used to <laughs> grizzly bears, you know, bears attacking so much. Well, I've been killed by them all in this game, black bear, brown bear, grizzly bear, they'll all kill you. All it takes is one hit, and you're dead. Uh, more blood. So as long as it keeps bleeding, we know it's going to die. Now, if we had to hit the lungs, it probably still would have ran a bit, because they're a pretty tough animal. We got that, we got an elk near us, so I'm just gonna go to crouch and call the elk. I don't know where it is. But it sounds like it's ahead of us. Oh dog, you're barking. Where are you, bud? You over here? Where's my bear? You barked. Where's the bear? Here? Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. Thank you, girl. All right, let's pick up our bear. Intestines and stomach, and we're going to get 20, so it's only a small one. Small female. At least we hit, so we, you know, we got both of them, so it died a bit quicker. If you just get the intestine, <laughs> it can take a little bit longer. Now, we're just going to sit here a minute and see if we can get this elk to call back. I have no idea. I think it was in front of us. If it is, it's good because the wind is coming that way. Oh, it could be behind us, down near the lake. No, I'm just going to get a dog to lay down. Lay down, girl. And just stay there. I'll just keep calling this elk, and uh, yeah, hopefully, before it walks all the way in, it calls me. <laughs> Alright, so just patiently wait and see what happens. Yeah, it's good, Matt. Oh, there we go. It's cool. Straight away, I think it is behind me. Oh, it's 
down by the road, man. We might just get up here a little bit, see if we can see it a bit better. And keep it walking straight up the road, maybe. That's not it there, is it? What is that there? Am I looking at a tree stump? I'm looking at a tree stump. <laughs> it happens a lot, man. So it'd be nice if we can keep it walking up the road. Uh, I'm nearly on the road. I'll be on the edge of it here. As you can see, we shot that gun not long back and not at a great distance from here and it didn't seem to spook this thing that much. Uh, look for antlers, guys. Might be just over that ridge there. I mean, it's why we can't see it yet. But it is coming in, which is what we need. I don't want the female. Oh, there he is. Ah, looks like it's not too bad. Not super huge. What are you? Alright, 205 to 305. So it's probably about, you know, 240 or some crap. You gotta whack some of that number off that. It'd be more towards the lower end than the higher. Oh, that's it. You keep walking, buddy. You won't regret it. Right. Don't look at me. I heard something to me right there as well. Come on, a couple more steps, mate. I think the wind's okay. He's looking cautious, though. Come on, bud. Look at him sniffing that air, man. It's like he you knows something's up. Yep, see? That's when you usually, when it goes like that, because I'm not care, I don't really care that runoff, it wasn't that big. But when they start to do that, if you're a new hunter, it's usually best then to go to your gun and just finish the thing. You're going to scare the area, but you know, you're going to get your deer, or your elk, or whatever. I'm going to dog to come back. Yeah, no great loss, it wasn't that big. If that had been a huge one, I probably would put the gun straight in my hand anyway. I reckon that would have been about a 240 or something, which is pretty small, pretty average for a Rocky Mountain elk. I'm on the same road that I wanted to be. Yes, I am. We're just going to like continue walking down this road and see what we find. Now, because, you know, we didn't shoot at him and that, he probably won't spook a real far away he probably won't run too far before he stops again hey lord cole hey go man i am good hope you are too i was gonna go just a little crouch here just for a minute and keep it cool yeah he ran up that way so i see his track we're going to continue down the road. Would have been nice to get him, but, you know, whatever. All right, there's another map. All right. And he's down here. Is, I don't think we'll be able to see him from here, but... Because there's a ridge there. So I'm going to try and hit that ridge line. I'm going to get my dog to uh, lay down. Lay cool. And stay. I'll just pop up on this ridge and have a look. Hopefully we can see all the way down here from here. I'm not sure. <laughs> you wish you could join the stream but have to work. Oh, no worries, man. You have a good day at work. 
I, I keep doing the wrong time for you, don't I? I was going to do a daytime stream today, but I had one of my sisters ringing from Queensland, like, you know. I thought, sort of, well, I'll, <laughs> I'll wait till tonight. I'm just going to sit here and see if he, you know, if he pop, you know, comes up the ridge there. Yeah, right down there, he's right down on the water actually. And the wind's blowing towards him, so I'm gonna have to shoot him with a gun. There'll be no bow and arrow here if we get a shot at this thing. Because he'll smell me. Oh, he's very close now. But unfortunately, the ground is uh, crazy. Oh, there he is, there he is. He's just popped up. Right there, he's only small. Another tiny little bugger. We'll try for an arrow, I don't know. The wind's crazy though. Oh, if you <gasps> stay there, man. We've got a shot on you. That's bad, that, that angle's bad, I can't see your lungs. Ah, and there we go. So once again, because of the wind, it would have been good to uh, use the gun, but it's too small sometimes to disturb the area. I'm not that bothered. We're just going to keep walking. No uh, mule deer yet. I usually get them more in the, you know, in the guts of the map. Probably get more elk and wolf and bear around around this part here. Right, is my dog coming? Yes, it is. Oh, these are going to be elk. Yeah, female. I would have killed a ton of female elk just to get rid of them out of that stand. A waste of arrows, if you ask me. What? One bear so far, so hopefully there should be more bears. We usually do get grizzly every time we come here. They're pretty much, you know, around the map, spread out pretty good. And there's a female elk, just standing on the side of the road like a crazy thing. Let's go crouch, there could be a male around, we don't know. We've got that other male that ran off before who would have settled. And we'll be hearing these calls, so it may come in. Check this uh, little waterway here. That's a funny shaped rock there, isn't it? Almost looks like a bear curled over. Oh, this is where that male up come up from. It was down here. Nice little lakes, aren't they, on this map? And yeah, we got nothing. <laughs> we got nothing. But it looks good. Oh, no big antlers coming out of that thing. That, that female woke up on here. Yeah. Took a while. That's that other one earlier. I walked right up to it and headbutted it pretty much. That was crazy. Yeah. Like, how stupid are you? Last time I want to see, I put a little clip on one of the end of my videos. I can't remember which one. And I was near the river and I saw a wolf across the the way. So I was keeping my eye on it, it was a female. And then I lost it. The next minute it was on the other side of the river and I was crouched. 
sort of just gathering my thoughts and the where the dog was that's about where the wolf came ran past me like it didn't see me and it was chasing a female uh elk or a male elk it was you know when they chased they obviously focused in on that so close it got to me i couldn't believe how i've never been that close to a wolf or have what you know walk up really that close to me and not notice me so it was pretty cool to see I thought about shooting and I thought, ah, I'll just film it. <laughs> it was only a small female, so it didn't matter. Alright, so we're walking down Werewolf Road. This is <laughs> where I usually come down and get uh, attacked by a werewolf at Halloween along here. We get a lot on this side of the map and on the other side a certain part too. And other parts of the map, you don't see a werewolf. Well, we have... Uh, normal wolves so we can camp here and just sort of try and call them in see if they move down the road oh, we'll just pull off the road and get rid of the dog okay oh, lay down take cover my friend oh i made it sit no no i want you to lay <laughs> i pressed the wrong button sorry Oh, my dog has reached level 31. Okay, cool. Good girl. He reached level 31. That's what we like to see. Now, so far today, the wolf have uh, been coming to this call pretty readily. So we'll see if this little pack uh, comes down or not. No, use the ball pup on it. Uh, yeah, you can hear the ravens over there, so I'm flying. So that means there's a carcass over there of an elk, and that sort of attracts wolf to the area. It's funny how they make them go around in a circle. It looks like they're going too slow, and they'd fall out of the sky. Uh, it was just be quiet, because the wolf just sneak up. You do usually hear their feet coming, or they're panting. Oh, the wind uh, doesn't like me at the moment. Sort of blowing out uh, that way. Come on, wolf. A nice red one earlier. I like the red colour and the, the really dark ones look good too. And they're taking their sweet time, so I'm not sure they're coming or not. I usually walk straight to the call if they're going to come. I haven't tried the electronic corner on the wolf. Usually because you don't have to. Like you see so many wolf when you are here. Oh man, we might uh, concentrate on that, we reckon. Oh, it is just there somewhere. And the wind's are actually good to me on this side. Let's try and get some clarity here. A bit more that way. I'm just going to stay here like this. So he's in there somewhere. Need to walk out and up. I might be able to get him with the bow and arrow here because the. Oh no, the wind hasn't changed, does it? What are you doing to me, man? Oh no, it's still good, still good. I hope it walks. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna say I hope it walks a bit sideways. And then he appears over here. Look at them antlers on it. That's not too bad. 
Oh, that's the one from before. All right, that's the one that did. We've already lost once. Same score. So that's got to be him. I knew he'd be in the area and he'd be hearing the call. He's looking at me again. No, he's not. Ah, oh, beautiful. We'll go get him. Oh, there's the carcass of the, the other one. Is that? Oh, the, yeah, there's a the dead carcass that the birds are flying above. Which now they've gone. So they've done the bow and arrow thing. Scared them. Have they gone? I can hear them. They must be flying off. Alright, so this will be, I said it'd be around 240 when we lost it. So we'll find out. It's not that, not that big. Uh, 316, it is going to be, oh, 281, a bit bigger, and we're going to get 49. There we go, another elk to the, for the trip, dog up, and we'll keep uh, calling and I'm walking, just so that we can uh, pull out of this forest. We've got to get a mule deer soon, no, it's just not a hunt at Timmergold, let's see it, start getting mule deer. Obviously the wolf didn't come in, so no great loss there. We got the elk <laughs> instead. one of those wolf or not probably not because they were in a pack and it's only one track oh, it's, a, it's a grizzly bear that went that way I want a couple more of those today I really like the grizzly Hopefully we can get, you know, close enough and shoot one of this. I love this gun. It's awesome. This is a different bear. I've had a couple of bears walking down here. It's a male. Oh, keep going. We'll come across <laughs> another one hopefully very soon. Another mule deer. We still hear those ravens though, I thought they flew off. Guess it's another bunch of them. Oh, there's something over there moving. What was that? Oh, it's a big bear. It's a big bear meat. Oh, it's a male. It's not a bad size if it was up near the 25, which I doubt. I oh, haven't got a shot on it. Can we see it again? Oh, man. I can see its butt. There you go. Come out. I'll walk a tad closer. Shorten the range. This bear could turn and run at any moment. Where'd you go now? I've lost you. Oh, look, there's a wolf there too. Look. So you just stop and look around around this map, and the, you just there's the bear. Oh, it ran. I think it ran. Did it run? Did the wind f me? Oh, there it is. There. Say, come up, buddy. Give me a clear shot. Oh, I could get the wolf. Ah, oh, it's getting closer, is it? It's getting stuck on the trees, but it's going to relax in a minute. I think it is coming. Ah, oh, 
that's it, come out, come out. Yeah, the wolf's now moving, see? It's a little trot up, this boy. Pretty sure that first shot hit. Let's run over and see. One can only hope. It'd be nice to get another bear straight up, pretty much. So he was out near this tree. So I should see his track. This won't be it. It was a bit, a bit further in than that. Uh, that could be it there, or here, or we got, nope. Yeah, we hit it. Oh man, there signs again. All right, dog, do your thing. All right, yeah, you here? There you are. Are you good, dog? And uh, hunt down the bear, buddy. Now that you're level 31, it should uh, come easy to you. So if it hadn't have growled, we wouldn't have even known it was over here, really. Once again, we hit the intestine, so it should, you know, bleed out, go down, die. So we get to pick it up. I don't think we hit it the second time. I did take a wild shot at its butt. I doubt we hit it. Bleeding, you are bleeding. That's what we want to see. A bit of blood. I am more blood, even better. So this one's running in a nice straight line, actually. Look at that. Look at the X's on the hunter, mate. He's going pretty much dead straight. A big fella. Oh, more blood, even better, man. How we going there, dog? You haven't got lost yourself, have you? Let's let her figure it out. Now it starts to run a little bit crooked. <laughs> Going a bit in a curve here. Looks like we're getting track and blood every time almost. Yeah, another blood. So it's bleeding out a lot. Oh, now those gone this way. Oh, she found it. So let's have a little run. Good girl. Let's be a coming, man. Uh, here we are. Here's our friend. This was a male. You can see the bullet hole there. Like, it wasn't that far back. We must have just missed the lungs, man. Went straight into the stomach. Like, it was walking, so what are you going to do? All right, 229 kilo intestine and stomach, just like the last bear. 81, though, on this, this time. It's a 22. That's not a bad size bear. They do get a lot bigger than that, but that's not bad. 81. I'm really happy with that. I'll right, give me a tick, guys. I'm just going to refill my drink and go to the bathroom. I think I'll be going two hours. And I'll, give me one minute and I'll be right back. Or two minutes. If I get eaten by a bear, well, you know, while we're here, it's uh, justice, I suppose. It's revenge.
we're still alive. That's what we like to see. <laughs> alive, Hunter. Alright, where are we on the map? We're near that little lake there. Oh. Let's check the map. Uh, so we're going to head back towards this road. Like I said, we're going to stick to the road a little bit. Before we head to the river or anywhere else. And just see what we drag in, just walking down the road. So far, so good. No mule deer yet. We are getting closer to where they hang out. So hopefully soon. We can go get, get one of those. That bear, 81, that's a nice, uh, I like when they pay like that, that is very nice. That's how you start to make some uh, nice GM, get a few of those. Isn't, I love this map, it's just the, uh, it's got this ambience to it that I really like. And it's usually sunny here, it's usually a nice, you know, day. <laughs> So, I do like that. And there's a river down there. So now, when we call, we might be calling stuff up that's down near the river. I uh, can see where they've cut the logs here. So back on the road again. On the road again. I got a, a male wolf, mate. But the wolf man, Jack. Let's see if we can see him down near the river, though. He's on the other side. Oh, he's on this side of the river. Have a little look. <coughs> They're pretty fast, the old wolf. I like them. Pity they don't attack that. It'd be nice if they'd uh, attack. But they don't, so, you know. No big deal. Let's have a look at the river while we're here anyway. It's a nice place to walk up and down. Because, you know, you get the bears and the deers and the elk crossing the river. And so that wolf should be down that way somewhere. Here it is. Oh, got a little uh, little toilet there. You can go to the toilet. There it is, right there, <laughs> right on the river. Good view. Oh, the wolf might have uh, disappeared, man. Let's get down here and have a look. Look at this toilet. That is weird, isn't it? I don't think I've ever noticed this this here before. Is the water not deep enough that we can walk through it? There we go, so we can get in. Let's go to the toilet, man. That's <laughs> such a weird spot for a toilet. I'll call some mule deer while we're here and just see if we get a response anywhere along here. Ah, the dog's found the water. back for a minute so if anything answers I'll just walk along and uh, see what we can find where am I here now on the map so what we want to do is not go this way of course we want to head back that way and we'll get into this main part here and have a hunt but yeah Hopefully, I want to see if we can get another few bears too today. Another one that's worth 81 would be awesome. But yeah, probably going to get them when, you know, female's worth 20. Let me do this and we'll get on off the hunt. And the next few animals I want to get soon. I want to get a mule deer, man. I want to get a good size one. It'd be beautiful.
a big, huge one. I want to, you know, I've got a couple of um, non-typical mule deer in the lodge, but I want one that's, uh, you know, just a huge mule deer. I've gotten plenty of them in my time, but I didn't have a lodge, so it makes it harder to put in the lodge when you don't have one. Now, am I walking the right way? Did I spin around the right way? I did, thank goodness. Oh, we heard one. First mule deer of day, my friend, and he's down this way along the river. I'd like to bring it out further this way. Now, dog, I'm going to make you lay down. Oh, girl, do it. There we go, stay. You might try and steer it out of the, the forest there, actually, so I get a good look at it. You might cross. You won't be suspecting that. <laughs> we should be able to get it, should walk down then towards the river and get a good look at it. So tree stand right on either side there would be nice to that big tree there. This is where the animals will cross a bit, so it's nice and shallow. Alright, let's get up on the ground here. And then I get back. There it is. It's hard to tell how big it is. I don't think it's huge, I think it's just sort of average. Yeah, they're pretty white, not too bad, not too bad. It's not, not our biggest mule deer I've ever seen. Hey, you can't see his eyes and his antlers there. But that could be worth, you know, 60 to 65 GM. Is he stuck? What's he doing? That's what he's doing it. The cha-cha, there goes the wolf. Brown wolf, or reddish brown, right along the river there. Oh, what's it? Our mule deer is slowly coming up. Oh, we're going to call him again so he doesn't turn away from me. So once you get down by this river, you'll, you'll come across everything. Mule deer, wolf, grizzly. I even hear puma along here. Uh, it looks like the mule deer is more concentrating on the wolf than the coal. Are you going to go see the wolf? What are you doing, mule deer? I want it to actually turn. It's wagging its tail and walking away. I think it's worried about the wolf. The wolf is circling over there. And anything else? Down by the side of the river here? There's crap going on. Turn, Mr. Mule Deer, please. I've even left my dog way back there. The elk will run from the wolf. They don't chase the mule deer, but I don't know if it affects them or not. But they chase elk, imagine that. They don't chase the smaller thing, they chase the big elk. Oh, there's two mule deer. There's another one. That one's even smaller. <laughs> so we've downgraded in size. Oh, I'm hearing footsteps or something near me, am I? Or am I just hearing shit? Okay. Coast is clear. I know it's saying between 135 and 185. 
and the other one is a bit smaller, I think. Oh, yeah, they're both turned now. So I think the first one we saw is the biggest, which is now the one at the back. That's why a tree stand would be nice over there and just bow and arrow them as they come up. But since I don't have one there, uh, not a lot I can do. Now I want the big one to come up like where that little one is, and we'll take it out. Give him one more call to give him marching orders. Come on, boys. You can do it. That's it. There he is. He's walking up. You get mule deer son. I was coming three and four males. In like a little, you know, pack of males. It's pretty cool. It's good to see because then you can just sit back and uh, see who's the biggest. And hopefully it's not the one that's way at the back that, you know, if they spook, you lose. Uh, I have to probably take this uh, deer in a minute. Wouldn't mind it turning its body just a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to get that luxury, am I? Oh, I missed him. Alright, we're out of bullets, so... Let's uh, pop the six in. Oh, I'm out of arrows there too, on the bow and arrow. Oh dear, I'm scaring him, mate. i put that in there. Alright, so we're good again. We'll call out our, our mutt. And we'll run over, since we've just fired a gun, so we can run. Not a problem. We might work the river a little bit. We're just up from the road there. We'll just see what we can find along here. We've seen a wolf already and uh, two muleys. Only average size, but I'm thinking we might get between 50 and 60 for this one. GM. Just looking at the size of those antlers. All right, how you going, buddy? Looks like you've seen better days. Yeah, it's not huge, but, you know. What the hell? Alright, right lung liver and the shoulder blade. Oh, 71. So it's a bit better than I thought, actually. So for that, like it's not a big mule deer. Uh, 71. So if you're a new hunter, they're, they're really worth hunting, the muleys. I like them. They're, I think they're the most deer that I've killed in the game, is mule deer. And now we're getting to they're our first ones we've seen all day, so we're sort of in mule deer area now. That was the wolf who was uh sort of triggering the mule deer. <laughs> the mule deer didn't know what to do for a minute. But yeah, that's cool. So if we got the puma now down here, if we found a puma and shot it, we would have got all the animals that are down here at, at this part of the map. I think I logged this point earlier in the week and uh, shot every animal on the map. I was lucky to get a bobcat. Nearly got a second bobcat, but it uh, spooked. And I was just using the jackrabbit caller. There's my electric callers at White Hart Island. So the bobcat, like as a cat, are the best one to come in with this caller. I find the lynx and the puma don't really seem to, I don't know, they just seem to really ignore it, man. Where the bobcat will go, all right, I'll, I'll have a look <laughs> at what's going on every now and again. I admit, the electric caller, like, when I hunt at White Hart now and I sit in my tree stand and turn on the electric caller and that, uh, you know, spinner thing with the fur on it, usually get a bobcat every time I hunt now there. You just got to wait, you know, you hear one, just wait it out till it comes in.
I just love a river on a map. I think it's awesome. I think it just makes the hunt more interesting when you have a, you know, forest and a river and a field, sort of all few things packed into one. Uh, now that was a, we want a big mule deer though, that, yeah, and a big elk. But ooh, what call then? It's a female grizzle up on the road here. Could be walking down to the river. Are we just going to run a short distance? Just to uh, lessen the distance between us and the bear. And like I said earlier, the, the bear will sometimes hear you coming and run at you. And other times it will run away. I'm going to try and walk straight towards it and see what happens. And, uh, yeah, if it comes close, we're going to shoot it with the 454. Beautiful bear gun. And use this on elk and I think red deer. You know, the bigger animals. Uh, the bison and the water buffalo. Oh, I see you walking. I was like, I heard the bear. <laughs> this is my dog. Hey, bear tracks? No. It's going to be down this corner, didn't it? I think it was a little bit further down. So it'll be nice to get it. That'll be our third bear if we get this one. If we can find it, of course. They do move quick, bears, surprisingly. Like, they do look like they lumber along a lot, but when they get moving, they trot up, they, they can actually disappear pretty quick. And here we are. Are you the one? You're a female. There's no way. Did you go straight down? Oh, then you turned, mate. If we get it in the middle of the river, we, it'd be good. They're on the edge of the river here. I didn't notice. If, was it fleeing when I saw that? No roaming still. That's got to be the one, right? Unless we're on a different track here. Where'd you go? Here, oh, yeah, there's another track here. It's obviously not going in a straight line. Oh, it's gone down here. Roaming five to three to sixteen minutes ago, so this is the one. Now hopefully it went straight down here and sitting along the river here for us to shoot, man. All right, buddy. I'm getting a circle like it's close. Do it cross? There's no way to cross there. Uh, not fleeing, are you? No, you're trotting uh, and it crossed there. See what I mean? When they get a trot up, man. It's like, dang bear be gone. Damn, there. Oh, it's a blondie. Oh, I'm going to try it with the gun, mate. Straight down. Right, let's go get it. So that was good. We found it. We should be able to cross over here where the rocks are. That's a blonde one. Well, that's what it looked like to me anyway. It wasn't an albino. So after that, I think you got blonde. Ah, uh, here's a track here. So let me see where it crossed. So obviously just trotted, but it wasn't fleeing. It didn't know I was there, I don't think. Yeah, it might have had an idea of something was going on. But, uh, let's uh have a look at it. Oh, they're not very uncommon, blonde. It's just a fur variation. So we're hitting the neck right there. Want to hit the neck bone, which cool. Oh, that dog's going to wrestle it, mate. You crazy mongrel. <laughs> they're going on attack. Uh, it is the female. We hit the spine, so we hit the bone, so I went straight down. And we're only going to get 15, and it is blonde. So they're rarity blonde. So 
there we go. Oh, uh, so yeah, I'm in a competition where you got to kill a bear straight out. Um, number eight in it. You need a huge bear to, you know, get anywhere in that competition. Hey, Jeep fam, how you going? Hope you're having a good uh, Friday or Friday night or whatever time it is there in your part of the world. Oh, well, we'll just keep going down this river for now. Seems to be uh, pretty cool. And the more bears we get, the better. That's the third grizzly today. The best one was that male, so. It's nice to get a fur variation. The blonde is pretty cool. Well, we probably won't see another blonde bear in this hunt, and if you do, you're gonna be pretty lucky. Once again, if it didn't growl, we wouldn't have known it was there. Or it just had to keep quiet. <laughs> we wouldn't have even known about it. So once they growl. It doesn't really matter which side of the river we're on here. As we'll probably cross them multiple, you know, times anyway. So it doesn't really matter what are these tracks. Wolf? Bunch of wolf, it is. Man, that one moved around a bit, didn't it? How about this track, is that a wolf also? It could be a little pack of them. That's a dog poop. Uh, we have a female deer there that we don't want. Although we haven't uh, come across a female mule deer yet, which is pretty cool. Very lucky. <laughs> Plenty of female elk though. Oh, look where am I on the map now. Alright, there's where I got that tree stand. Right, up here's the bridge. Might go pay a visit to the bridge too and have a look off there. Go home and get your dad. I am stuck on a rock there. I hate that. Yeah, so we should get all the animals along here now. Everything. Elk, bear, mule deer. And I have heard the odd puma down here, so... I thought they were just up the top, the puma. But you know, they must wander down here sometimes. There's the bridge. Oh, there's another bear, look. Man, that is so far away. Grizzly female. Oh, we, we might take a long shot at it and see what happens. Oh man, it's so far away. Oh, there's a freaking wolf walking across the river there, it just threw me for a minute. I'm going to hit it in the butt. I want to get a bit sideways to it. Hit it in the butt. It's just a useless thing. What size, what size, what size wolf are you? You're a female. Oh, he might go the wolf, mate. Can we see it from here? We got rid of the female uh, mule deer anyway. I could have took a shot at the bear, but if I just hit it in the butt, we're in for a long tracking <laughs> session. I'd rather not. So I'll take the wolf instead. I'll just run down now. Since we've fired a gun, it won't matter. So I've got a few wolf now. A few of the bow and arrow and... Uh, now off the gun. I 
And there's our bridge. We might go on the bridge and just have a look off there. You do get elk, wolf and uh, mule deer running up and down along the side there. So here we go. Here's Wolfie. Another female. So it's not going to pay a whole heap, I think. Hang on, buddy. They're a good model, aren't they? Not too bad. Alright, we hit the neck. And you're going to pay 20. Score of 14. Alright, so that bear would have run. It's nice to see him out, though. A few bears around. That was a fur variation as well. That was sort of more of a gingery, tanny colour. Not the, you know, like red, grizzly colour. So I might cross here. Because the other way we've got to cross up. What's that? Oh, look at that mule deer, man. That is an awesome one. I hope it's, it looks spooked. That's the mule deer you want. That's the one you want for the day. You see the antlers on that thing. You stay there, dog. I'm going to sneak up close here and just uh, see if it settles. That is a cool one. I just one look at that and you knew, yep, that's uh that's worth a hunt. There it is, there, is that it? Oh there it is. Is that it? Oh no, the other one looked bigger. I don't know if that's it, I'm just saying it at the wrong angle now. But uh that I think it was bigger than it was when I first saw it. Did I go bananas? Did I say oh no? Along here too. There's, there's something moving in there. I think that's that's not it running off, is it? Mate, it must be you. I right, gotta keep walking up here to this rock and corner. And uh, oh, there's one in the middle of the river. No, you're not the big one. So they're obviously not overly spooked, even though we just shot the gun just back there. Obviously it didn't make it as much noise down here, where these deer are. Oh, I want to get marooned here. I think I am. Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh, damn, this stupid water here. Ah, oh, it's not that deep. Can I get on the rock, mate? Oh, do me a favour, okay. Alright, don't do me a favour. <laughs> Alright, so we got one there. We got one there. But the real big one, where'd that go? That's not them. Is that the one that ran off into the back of the forest? Oh, they're just average. That one looks stuck. Or something. <laughs> we'll give it a call, but I don't know. There was a bigger one. What happened to that? I'm going to check around here in case it did run across and now it settles and stands over here somewhere. Oh my god. It's like a magic flute today, isn't it? It's coming out of the woodwork. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's even smaller. Look how small that one is. There was the smallest mule deer competition, and that's the one you want. And there they go. Right, so maybe the the ones I saw running through the forest. I did see mule deer bodies running. This is insane. I need to get up here. This part of the river sucks. I'm stuck in the water. Man, see so them two run out at me. <laughs> it was like I had, it was the Pied Piper for um, mule deer. We'd had a really nice big one I saw. And now... I'm really not sure where that went. Let's just peek over here. Maybe it ran down the river. 
Because the other two look too average to be uh, the one I saw. Oh, there's uh, another bear. Oh, that could be that uh, funny colour female we saw earlier. The fur variation. Uh, these mule deer have gone down there. There's a wolf. Man, there's stuff everywhere on this river. <laughs> That's not a bad size wolf actually, not too bad male, 40 to 60 kilos, probably, you know, 15, so no record breaker or anything. Where's your buddy, mate? You're not the one. I think we've lost that big one. And a call, let's do another couple of calls, a mule deer calls, of course. Not bad along this river today. So it looks like it's going to come in. Oh, it's very small. I'm not overly interested in it. Female. Uh, maybe I was seeing things. I did. Did you guys see that other mule deer? It looked huge. But was I seeing things? This female's gonna get there first, isn't it? So I could shoot it with the gun, I'm not sure I really want to, in case that big one is around. Uh, I would pay, you know, 50 GM, that one, I'd imagine. Something like that. It's definitely not the first one I saw. Oh, this female's just going to ruin everything. Oh, maybe not. So, give her a little call. That's what the male does. Yeah, he's going to keep walking. Just stand there we go. At the end of the day, <laughs> the female ruined it. Luckily it wasn't that I would have shot it if it had been that big one. I would have shot it with the gun. I'm gonna call my dog and I'm gonna cross the river here. I'm gonna go on the bridge and just have a little look around. Do a few calls. So we should be able to cross over here where them animals did. Bad here, which would be cool. Well, it's good to see a lot of animals anyway. We've got you know everything happening. You know, sometimes you just got to hold back, and you know, so it's a bit of a small mule deer. I don't really want to fire a gun. What is that that just walked up over there? Oh, there's a male corn back there. So we're gonna cross the river. That could be our buddy, I'm not sure. We're gonna pull out the right caller. I'm gonna sit back here in the greenery and just see if it you know, should come down to the river. Oh, my dog is in the middle of the freaking water. Look at it. She's swimming, man. If I stand up, they usually move quicker. There she goes, there she goes. Come on, get up here. 
There you go. Alright. All right, you lay down. Alright, so our mule deer's in the back here somewhere. Oh, there he is. There's something's moving. Uh, is that a female elk? It could be a female elk. Let's just keep calling this mule deer. I'm just going to back off near these trees. And uh, hopefully, it's a good, <laughs> good big one, not a little. Uh, Crap all the one. There it is. Oh, you're small too. Oh, there, there, behind it, there's a bigger one. That's the one I think. The one behind it. There. That's the one I saw on the river. Not super huge. We're not picking it up with the score yet. We're picking up the other one. Look at that. That's why I didn't want to shoot the other one with the gun. Look at that. 175 to 225. Look at that, man. That is almost a competition mule deer, that thing. So we're just going to wait him out and drop another couple of calls. So when he gets close enough, we're going to bull puppet. Just want it to come out in the clear. Oh, they look at you, my friend. Not the biggest mule deer I've seen, but it's very nice. I knew I saw a big one in the river. And it was our little buddy here. Ah, right, we'll go over and uh, check him out, man. I thought we'd be crossing this river multiple times, didn't I? <laughs> well, we still haven't gotten to the bridge yet. We will get there after this. This was worth waiting for. All right, can we get out here? Thank you. That's why you got, I was saying before, you've got to pick when you're going to shoot your gun or not. Because if you know you saw a big one and you're doing calls around the area, it's more than likely it's going to come back. Uh, it's falling in a, unfortunately, it's falling in a weird spot. We might take a trophy shot with it so we can see it better. So, let's do that. Alright, a 106, a 182. Yeah, not the biggest one that you're ever going to get, but it's not bad. 86, so we'll take a little trophy shot so we can see it better. So that gives me 15th in this mule deer thing at the moment. So, hit space bar. Put the bull pup in our hand. And uh, I don't have the pose things. They're just going to have to bear with me here because uh, they can get crazy. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Back this way, muley. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, damn. All right. We'll do it like that. <laughs> So just to get the the right angle on these things is uh it's uh, crazy man. Uh, we could wear it like a hat. That would make a good photo. Oh man, this just isn't. <laughs> I done a video on so I'm still on this, and then I put that thing. You know, six years later, <laughs> I finally got the shot. Oh, that's sort of close-ish. That's not too bad. I'm at the wrong angle, but there we go. We can get a good look at that. Not too bad. Like I said, this isn't your biggest mule deer. You get plenty bigger than this, but yeah, might be the biggest one of the day. So hence, we take a trophy shot with it. Now this time we're going to cross the river and just have a look off the bridge before we uh, shoot anything else, unless it's huge. So I'll cross here again. Sometimes when you come down the river, you just get stuck here. So yeah, not a bad uh, way to get stuck though, is it? So let's have a look on the bridge. Let's see if we can see anything decent up there or off there. The animals won't walk on the bridge. So if you ever want to be AFK <laughs> in this map and not get chewed by a bear, if you just sit on that bridge or something like that, they'll never will never come across and attack you because they're not, uh, you know, they're not coded to walk on the bridge. Oh, let's get up on the road, man. Uh, muley, small one. Alright, 
So I'm in a competition, you got to get, you know, your two best mule deer. I think it's not your first two, I think it's just your two best. So you can, I think you could shoot them and just, you know, the bigger the mule deer, the, the higher up you'll go in the competition. So I need another one like that, probably get in the top three. Oh, we have a carcass here. So you'll get wolf probably around here. So there's an elk, dead elk there. There's our bear we, we uh, heard earlier, or saw. It's fleeing after we shot the, <laughs> the gun. Well, that looked like it was more gingery, tanny than the, you know, the red they're supposed to be. Uh, my dog sometimes freaks out on this bridge. I had a dog get stuck under it once. Not good, but uh, yeah, it happens. Uh, it's just a nice part of the river too. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> fall off by the looks of it. So we'll do some calls while we're up here. Let's see if Anna pops out. Our uh, dog. You got dog, it's probably best to make it sit while you're here, man. Sit, stop, you're gonna obey me? We'll try to sit. That's it. Yeah, that wasn't a bad mule deer. I want like 220 or something like that for the lodge, something, you know, it's better be bigger than that. So I can sort of show it off. That's a nice corner there, over there. I think, didn't I have a tent down there? I do, right there. I got a tower there. Oh, we might walk along the the river on this side now. I might, there's a lake up here. I might check the little lake that's directly in front of us. Let's see if we can find anything around there. So as you find a nice alcohol mule deer around there, go and have a look. Yeah, it's a nice part of the map around here. We still haven't had a grizzly attack us today, which uh, I really want. <laughs> I like them when they attack me. Alright, so I might as well call while we're walking here. Another bear there, look. Plenty of bear tracks, man. Oh, it's a previous bear. So I've already got a blonde bear today, which is pretty cool. I've got a blonde bear in me, uh, lodge. I just kept it there, <laughs> as it looks like it's happy. Right, so we've got a lake just on the other side here. Right, got rocks which you can get stuck on going up here, which is a real pain. That was a female, wasn't it? Yep. Got a female mule deer answering the call that I don't want. She'll scare off in a tick. I get stuck on those trees, I know. I'm just going to drop some calls now as we're going down to the lake. I think I heard a, a wolf sound or something around here, down there. I don't know what that is.
Hey, Wild Willie, how you going, man? Good to see you. Oh, there's a bear. Hope you've been good, mate. Come out, come out. Come out sideways, man. Where'd you go? Oh, it's down here, bear. It's walking down to the lake. I'm back at my favourite map. I really do love this map. All right, so we just had a bear walk down there. I'm just going to give it a breather for a tick. There it is, there it is. All right, let's see it come back out. All right, so we're scared everything down near the lake now, but hey, another bear to the, to the count. So what's that, four bears now? So that's not bad. We'll still go down and have a look at this little lake. If you've never hunted around this lake, it's not bad to always check it out when you're walking by. Because I've had big elk and mule deer just down here, the odd bear, like we just got here. Uh, so once again, I went to neck shot because it just kills them. Um, you know, neck bone, bang, dead, still get the 100% trophy. Oh, only a little one. It's only a 17, I think it's 23 GM. Hey, I hope you have a good one, will we? Weekend time, my friend. There we go, who it is here? It's not too bad around here. Right. Hey, Maddest, how you going? We'll have a look at it and just uh, see if it pops out on the other side. Peter Howard, how you going? Every day for you on the is the weekend. Well, there you go. That's a beautiful thing. That's what we like to hear. Someone who's nice and relaxed. <laughs> you subscribed to the other day when I saw your GDAV business videos. Oh, thanks. Haven't done a GDA video for a while. I did do that one on um, document forgery, wasn't it? I was like, I only done that one because not many people done a video on it and I was going to do document forgery. I thought, well, if we're going to do it, might as well make a video about it. Turned out pretty cool. <laughs> Good idea to do. I was going to do the grow the marijuana thing. I just bought the sub. A few months back, I bought that submarine. Um, I was going to do the that island robbery, whatever it is. So I really haven't used my submarine yet. And I should do... There's something like... What is that moving over there? I think we can see the head of an animal over there. Well, it's an animal laying down. I just can't zoom in. Let's see what the hell that is. The old GDA 5. When are they bringing out GDA 6? Will they ever bring out GDA 6? They're making so much cash off GDA 5. Oh, they will eventually. But, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, whatever, I don't know. There it is. It's a... Is that a bear? No, that's it's a wolf. There's not a wolf over there. <coughs> no, hopefully it helped you. Like, I tried to do it so it would help people. <coughs> I even went and done the... I robbed all the stuff he needed off them dudes out of their truck instead of buying it. That's not a bad looking wolf, is it? Female. Let's see what she does. I'm not going to shoot her from here. We'll see if she comes any closer or not. <coughs> hey, Coonsie, how you going? You've been playing Classic again too. Playing now, doing a bit of Magpie Goose Hunt. Now, that's cool, man. I've got to go hunting with Willie soon. He's got the Snow Goose set up. 
and I've never shot one because I don't have this set up so <laughs> makes it easier when you do have this set up so the wolf moved off that way I don't know if it's coming or not do you, you liking the classic a lot now Kernsey I actually sort of prefer it over Call of the Wild in a way, in a lot of ways. Well, Trey Kiwi says, you don't have much time. Call of the Wild's a good game to get. If you only got an hour and you want to shoot some animals, well, Call of the Wild's probably the best way to go. If you've got more time and you just want to have a bit more serious hunt and maybe not get as many animals, but you've got to work harder for them, uh, this is the game. Been good for a change. Yeah, it is. It is good for a change. And if you do get into it, and then, you know, you're playing Call of the Wild for a few months straight, and you think, oh, I need to, you know, I need to change. This is your, your backup. It's, it's still another hunting game. Made by the same company. <laughs> um, but this one has really no glitch things all the tracks are always there the blood's always there you got another wolf over there as well a darker one i think is it the same one that's no, a gray one are you all male you got a bit of a wolf head on you you gonna spot for me it looks like a male doesn't it i'm saying he it's looking at the head it looks like a male that's female. Oh, they're wrong. So she's got a big head on her. <laughs> Used to play a lot before it became free. So pretty much have all the... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I played a lot before it was free too. But I have bought a, a fair, you know, a few guns with the GMs now. Well, you know, you've got to grind a bit to get your cash. But it's fun. I don't. It's not really a grind for me. I enjoy the hunting in this. The animals are way more sensitive in this game. Oh, that's what I'm looking at here. Ah, oh, you're over there. So we're gonna call. We're not going to worry about the wolf, really. We're going to back off here a bit. And uh, see if we get the mule deer to come down. We're just getting this sort of like tree area. So I'm not sticking out like dogs proverbials, or whatever you call them. We'll move over here where it's green a bit. Try and get this mule deer to walk straight down. We're going to ditch the dog. Lay down, dog. Look okay. out. Well, make her stay. It's always worthwhile on this map checking out these little lakes. It's just that, you know, the animals get drawn to the water or they're hanging around that forest, so... And you get a good view around the lake because, you know, you've got the edge on it, so if it pops out on the other side, you'll get a clean shot on it, usually. I've been shooting pretty good today. I, I did do a couple of bad arrow shots on wolves and we had to track them down. And I did hit two bears in the intestines. And then we, I think we killed the other two outright, so... Doing not too bad. Now, if you've never played this game and you're into hunting and you own a PC, you actually have to have a PC. It's not a console game and it never will be. Because it's like 12 years old now, so they're not going to, you know, port it over to a console. And they're bringing out soon, they're going to have, I don't know when, it's this year, we're going to have a fellow deer in the game. And they'll most likely, I'd imagine, be at Hirschfelden. So that'll bring something else to that map. Because I usually go there for the red deer and the goose. And having fellow deer on there will make it, you know, a far better map. It's a good map, but I mean, it's be, make it more interesting to, to go there and hunt. But you do have pheasants there. You have pheasants, wild boar, red deer, roe deer, what am I missing, red fox, and the uh, geese, can Canadian goose. So, 
Got a few animals there, but another one would be excellent. Is that our... That can't be the mule deer. It is a mule deer. I don't think it's the one that called that. Cause that the one that called seemed to be in here. Across there. So that one's not too bad a size. Like, not as big as the last one we just got. It's, you know, it's there. It's thereabouts. Okay. We'll pay a few uh, GM on that one. I have no idea which way the wind's blowing here. Uh, can't tell with the leaves. Can we see the leaves through the binoculars? <laughs> oh, no, leaves are falling off the trees, my friends. We'll give another call. I don't know now, you know, do we have two coming in? It just seems weird that it moved right across there. It hasn't caught, so I don't really know if it's uh, the other one. Uh, I had one call then. Uh, maybe it is you. I'm confusing myself. Which is, you know, pretty easy to confuse, mate. Let's have a little look at it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's an average one. I was hoping a big bug would walk out the forest there. Uh, let's watch it come in. Hopefully we can just hide here a bit. And maybe take it out with the bow and arrow instead of shooting. So let's keep it walking. There's a new game coming out this year. Been following it on the socials. Ultimate Hunter. Yeah, I've, I've had a little look at bits and pieces of uh, videos of that game. Well, they're having like, you know, crocodiles and elephants or some crap. You know, they're having a lot of animals, right? <laughs> or hippopotamus or something. There's some like endangered ones in there, which uh, I don't mind because it's just a game. <laughs> Remember, folks, it is just a game. We are shooting pixels, not real animals. I get the odd person in my comments telling me off. Like I'm being cruel to animals. I'm like, um, it's a game. <laughs> it's, I'm not doing anything really. I'm actually trying to lift my Hunter Classic score. And uh, make some more GM. That's all I'm doing here. And enjoying myself, so. And this game sort of tests you. If you're doing it just a bow and arrow hunt, a lot of times you've got to be really patient, really quiet. You've got to be more concealed than I am here because this thing will probably see me. Oh, there was two. There we go. Oh, that one's smaller. So there was two. Yeah, that you can tell that one's definitely a bit better. So I'll keep an eye on him. Uh, he is close enough now. So it's worked out. The wind is obviously pretty cool. Might end up with both if the other one doesn't flip out and this one goes straight down. <coughs> Alright, so we might get both. We're just going to go back in the corner here. So if we get both, we're going to get over 100 GM, I'd imagine, here. That's why I like the mule deer. If, like if you don't hunt them a lot. Oh, we've got something behind us. A female. Piss off. And that scared that one. And then we're not going to get over 100 GM. Sorry about that. But if we had it worked out, we probably would have. This should be about 65 maybe GM. The other one would have easily been 30 something. So there we go. And yeah, not a real big one. But, uh, you know, let's see what we get. Oh, we smashed there, often, as you can see, right lung, liver, left lung, and the stomach. We're going to hit 75. So 75, the other one would have been worth 30 and above. We would have made 100. Just out of Sydney. We're going to go back to our little tree here and just do a few more calls. Because there might be a mule deer or something we haven't seen yet that we haven't spooked. They could be back in that forest. Let's drop a few more calls here. While we're here, why not? And we'll whack out an out call as well. Just for good measure. And that's not the first time a female has ruined it today, but um and it won't probably be the last. 
so I could have arrowed her, but then I reckon he would have spooked anyway. Like it, they just—they are oh, they're so annoying the females. If I don't get any barks back in a minute, we'll go and walk back down near the river. Yeah, it looks it does look good, Ultimate Hunter, but you know we've all looked at games um, before, and um, when they've actually come out, they weren't as good as uh, we thought they were. But yeah, it's good to yeah, hopefully have high hopes, and uh, it is good. But yeah, good to have another hunting game out there hopefully it's uh, not really you know too expensive and I've heard they're not going to have DLC if that is it or the DLC will be free or something I'm not sure I did hear I'm not sure if it was about that game I think it was but I could be getting ahead of myself here And hopefully it's uh, bug free and uh, you know, has a, a whole ton of animals that we don't have in any of these games. I'd like to hunt a hippopotamus or something like that, and it'd be bloody awesome. Oh, I don't want you, female. I'm going to move back to the road, I ain't back to the river, we'll call the dog. But we will see. I'm looking out for that uh, that boxing game too this year coming out. It looks very good. I did a little video on it, I can't even remember the name of the bloody thing now. Something boxing club. Man, it looks awesome. They, they did drop another video. And it worked on the animations again of the short, you know, punching when you're really close to each other. Oh, they're trying to do it. I think there's over 60 different types of punches in the game at the moment. And, of course, they got getting all the boxes that you know, you know, from around the world to join the game as well. And they've got to sign them up. So it will be a, you know, it'll be one of the biggest boxing games, I think. Once it hits, it'll be the best boxing game out there. But I think it's going to be maybe expensive. But, um, yeah, I, I, you know, it looks so good. You've got how good the shotgun is in Classic. It's a beautiful gun in Classic, the shotgun. All of them, the G10, the G20, the G12... Yeah, smack the geese. Sometimes they smack the geese sideways. Don't they? <laughs> you see the geese hit, it hits it, and the goose goes sideways. It looks so funny. <coughs> you got to admit, Coons, if you do bird hunting a lot, and it, you've obviously done goose hunting in Call of the Wild. How you going, Mario? Long time no see. And you've uh, done goose hunting in Classic. The bird hunting in Classic's far superior than Call of the Wild with the duck and the geese. Because they circle around you, you long call them and you short call them. And it's really critical if you get the short call wrong, um, you can sort of ruin the whole thing. So it's a bit of a technique to it, which I like. <coughs> Where in the, you know, the call of the wild, they sort of just come in and land. They don't fly around you, they don't do that circle work. So there's not as much technique involved. Or sort of none. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a big difference. Not bagging I call the wild. I'm just saying, if you played the bird hunting in this game, and the bird hunting in Call of the Wild, you really have to admit they've got it right in this game. I crouch a lot in this game. I have been walking a lot today, but sometimes when I've dropped a lot of calls and I haven't shot a gun, I just go to crouch and just suss the area out. Because you don't know what's at the back here. Did, did a mule deer hear us and start to, you know, walk across the river or something? How you been, Mario? Good to see you. You've had some uh, long nights hunting geese in Classic. 
Yeah, yeah, because you're having so much fun and you make a lot of GM hunting the birds in this game. So there's nothing to go out and have a goose hunt and get 30 geese, you know. I actually, yeah, I, lo I love the bird hunting in here. And every now and again, you know, keep an eye out for me. I do have an open, because uh, I have a, a goose set up, Canadian goose set up on Hirschfelden. And then I have a good duck set up on uh, Ruggaroo Bayou. And every now and again, I just, uh, I do a stream and I'll have a password and anyone who's watching the stream can come in and hunt a goose and a duck with me. And it's really good because if you've never shot a goose or a duck and you don't have the setup, well, it gives you the opportunity to get an achievement. You know, get your first, you know, because there is a few different types of ducks when you duck, duck hunt. There's a black duck, the... Um, <laughs> I'm forgetting them now, but there's so many of them. There's like four different types of ducks. Gord wall, black duck, normal duck, which I've forgotten its name now. You're great. You've uh, been making streams with Classic. Have you? I'll have to check your channel out, man. Oh, got a bear. So it's probably been quiet. Sometimes we go crouch because uh, you just don't know what you're going to find. We've got a bear over here in the river. I haven't used this gun today. Can we get close enough to pop it with a 454? Oh, no, we're not going to because it's on the other side of the freaking river. Let's stand up and uh, oh, it's coming towards us. Maybe we will 454 it. Our right, dog, lay down, bud. That's it. Now, now. stay, stay, stay. I give it a shot. I don't have a scope on this gun. Oh, we've hit it. I don't think it'll get too far. Looks like we might have lunged it. I'm not too sure. Oh, you were asking if I've been making any classic streams. Yeah, that's all I've been doing lately is classic, man. We had a Logger's Point stream earlier in the week. And I've been going to White Heart and Hemmerdale a lot. I've been chasing White Tail and Black Tail. And then I had a reindeer and a moose sort of competition I was in, so I was at Hemmerdale for a while. Yeah, I'm always doing a classic now. At the moment. And two, because my Call of Wild's broken. Um, so, you a bear track? What, what happened, bear? Uh, are you? Uh, we got blurred, we got blurred, we hit the intestines again. Damn you bears. <laughs> All right, I have a dog that can track. So, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, but I've, all I've been doing for like the last probably eight weeks or a bit longer is this. Because when they bought out, are, are you not tracking? When they bought out a Mississippi map, it broke my game. So since then, I've just been playing this. But apparently there's a patch coming out next week, which, I don't know, may fix it. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, a bear didn't get far. It's just there. Dog has found it. I right, might hang around this paddock a little bit. We'll go down near the river. I have a nice little spot I sit at. I'll drop a few calls and see if we can pull a mule deer or elk out of here. See, it looks like I hit it in the lungs, don't it? Oh, look at that shot there. That looks like a lung shot. It's telling me intestines. Wow, we did it twice. We did it twice. So the second shot did work. Okay, I'm very surprised. And we get the 100% and we get another kill for the 454. Al Bistoni. Nice gun. Let's move over here near these trees. How did it happen? I, I don't, well, they just, when they, you know, bought in Mississippi and then I was hunting, like when you pull out a gun like this, and you go like this, and then you hold your breath hear it goes like that in, in, and then it exhales we in the uh, call of the wild now i don't get that i don't know if it's not holding the breath or holding the breath and not making a sound but it sort of turned me off the game in because i like to hear erophon i like to know that that's happening so you know i just thought well 
I'm a bit angry at the game at the moment, so I'm just going to give it a rest. I do love this game anyway, so it gives me the opportunity to get back into this game and, uh, yeah, you know, do a bit of different style of hunting and get my hunter score up. That's another thing I like about this game is you can compare your hunter score to another hunter. You can go look at his uh, hunt history if you know you know their name or your friends. Um, you can see what they've been shooting recently and where they've been hunting. You can see their lifetime stats. You can see how their dogs have progressed. You can see what trophies they got. So this game records everything. You got 12 geese in 15 minutes, and look at that cheesy grin. Uh, he's pretty happy about that. <laughs> now, I got a lucidic uh, goose last time. They're not uncommon. It was just the first one that I'd gotten since I had my lodge. And yeah, the nature looks amazing in, in this one. Yeah, it does. Like I, this is a really, I like this map. It's just beautiful. And it's very rarely boring as you can see we you know you shoot a mule deer you get down the river there's a grizzly bear in the middle of the river so it's just it's a nice map usually around here just over there there's usually an elk carcass and you have wolf coming in and out of here but there's not one there today our right, dog you can just sit instead of walking around in circles there you go you make everyone dizzy And this, you know, has the river running through the middle of it. Right, right from here, back to here, and to here. Which really highlights, you know, it's a real highlight on this map, the river. I like it. I gotta admit, I had fun last night in uh, Tom Clancy Wildlands. I've done a stream of that. I do enjoy that game. And it is, you know, it's a break from this every now and again. I do like the gun playing in it. The guns work great. And they, they, you know, they feel as heavy as they should be and they shoot like they should. I got a lot right with that game, which is always nice. Are we going to head down this way now? And I have a tower down here we might check out. We're not going in that tower. It's not a bad tower, but I don't move down the map. Oh, we'll just go to normal walk now. Yeah, so if you've never played this and you do have a PC, like I said earlier, you need a PC. It's uh, well worth the download. I think it's only six gigabytes, and that includes every map and all the crap and all the animals. But then, you you know, they'll give you a free 243 and a single shot shotgun, 12 gauge. And they give you free bullets for them guns every time you go for a hunt. I think they give you a deer bleat. So you could come here and hunt a mule deer. And if you see an elk or a bear, like you can't call the bear anyway. So, you know, you just sort of shoot at them. But with that set up, there goes a mule deer female, I think. You'd have to use a shotgun and slug on the bear and elk here. Oh, it's a small male. So that might have been coming into the call because we got up and walked it. Uh, we've scared it, man. This is where I saw the wolf chasing down here. It ran right, just right next to me and then passed me chasing an elk. It was amazing. <laughs> uh, it should have saw me but it didn't amazing uh, we haven't seen an elk for a while we're getting a fair few of them but no mule deer now we've uh, reversed that a lot of tracks Oh, this could have been that dumb mule deer running around in a circle. That's a male. What are you? Another 
mile. See a few mile mule feet tracks around here, isn't it? Alright, dog, get out of the water, mate. Very noisy. <laughs> I got a nice stand down here. I like to hunt in a lot. And you do get a fair few mule deer and a wolf pass through there. Let's call on this river while we make our way to that tower. So this would be a nice, you know, you could put a tower here, like here, right where the river crosses there. Or a tree stand over there, or here. And these, these trees are good for tree stands. Because they've got no low branches. Alright, so far so good. This hunt has been, you know, pretty cool. I'm liking that we're getting bears. It's good. We've got four so far. One that was worth 81. And we did get a blonde one. We've got a female elk we don't want. Oh yeah, another male mule deer that went down this way. What discourages you if this game is the grind for the weapons? Yeah, true. I know it's probably harder when you don't have as many weapons because like uh, Kernsey said earlier he was playing this before it was free and so was I so you went out and bought the weapons with real money and when they made it free you were like set up you had a, you know, a bunch of weapons you had tree stands and I've got a ton of different camos in this game you bought some guns and bows and some lures cool that's why once you got the lures you know you, it makes the game a lot better. But there are a few animals in this game you can't call in. You can't call the bear, you can't call the bison, you can't call the water buffalo, you can't call the ibex. I'm sure there's going to be... You can't call the pheasant, you can't call the rabbit. I don't know. can't call the sheep, any of the... The dull sheep or the big horn, can't call them. Can't call the goats, can't call the kangaroos. Which I don't mind, we've got an animal down there. Female elk, no thanks. But you find even though you can't call them in, before you know it, you've got a hundred freaking brown bear or black bear or something. You go, Jesus. Yeah. Because you can see that in the stats. You can see how many types of animals. You can see how many black bear you got, how many brown bear you got. With every weapon, you can see how many shots you took with it and how many kills you got. It'll give you an average. But can you hunt on the snowy map even if you don't have the clothes? Um, well, you will eventually die. There's another bear man. You will eventually die if you don't have the clothes. They used to give out free ones. They were blue clothes, though. I don't know if that bear's going to pop up. Uh, the elk are freaked out. I don't think the bear will run. It usually won't give a crap, but it's below that line there. i got to hope. Come on, pop up, my friend. And then I'll make five grizzlies for the hunt so far. I doubt it would have spooked. Oh, would I would have care about elk running around. Oh man, it might... Oh, no, that's the elk. I'm scared the bear's going to walk in that line there and I'm not going to see it. it. Hasn't come up. Shouldn't bother to hunt on that map for some time. I think you can you can hunt on it a fair bit and then you'll start to get the shakes. Like you start to get hypothermia or whatever. Oh, 
Well, obviously don't give away the free um, blue snowsuit thing anymore. There's the bear. It's a female. For sure, we hit it. Uh, let's go over and see. Find a place to cross here. I think we may have hit that towards the neck area. I went for the neck, hoping to down it. If I hit the neck bone. Looks like I've failed <laughs> in my quest to kill it. What dog do I recommend? Depends what you want to do, mate. Oh, you want to track him? The, the dog I got here is pretty good. Where is it? My invisible dog? There it is. Uh, if you want bird hunting, you get the Labrador. I got the Labrador on this dog. I think they also have the Bloodhound, which I don't know. I've never used it. I don't have it. But the Scent Hound is pretty good. Now, is the bear back here? I'm well on this side. I think it was more to here, wasn't it? Should have marked it with my binoculars, which you can do in this game. You put a red dot. So you don't lose it. Alright, we've got to find a track with blurred. Alright, you're a bear. And you're Roman. You're the right bear. Oh, you are. Here we go. Oh, long like heart blood. So I might not get too far. I'll get the dog to uh, track it. So obviously miss the neck and hit the lung, which is not a bad trade-off. Oh, there goes a dog. So yeah, the, like uh, if, uh, if you want tracking, so this dog is a tracker. And the scent hound would obviously do the same thing. Oh, this is the scent hound, I mean the blood hound. But uh, yeah, it just depends on... I like the look of these dogs, and they do work well with tracking. Although now this dog is level 31, so it's a pretty experienced dog, I suppose. All right, with the left lung and the shoulder blade. Only 13. <laughs> Damn, hardly worth shooting, but, you know, we've got another bear. All right, so we're near our other tower now anyway, so we're going to make our way over there. What's the new heat thing? I was walking yesterday in some MSG about I didn't. Oh, were you in a um, Pickabean Bay or Australia? Because if you're in them, you have to drink water every now and again. It'll tell you that you're getting dizzy and you either need to sit down and have a rest or drink water. So if you're at Pickaping Bay where it's hot, or you're in Australia where it's also hot, you need uh, to take a couple of, yeah, Pickaping Bay, you need water, mate. And when you're on them uh, reserves, try not to run a lot, because it actually saps all the energy out you, and you'll need water quicker. Like I've done it, and the side of my screen is wobbling and getting hazy, and the message comes up, you need water, or you're going to faint. So yeah, uh, we'll just have a few calls on this tower. So pretty, if you know, if you have this map, this is a nice area to put a tower, just up here. You got a lake in front of you, you got all the woods around you, and then you got the river here where they cross. So you get a lot of traffic through here. As you can see, there's a lot of tracks around here that this thing just keeps going off. Yeah, so pick a bean bay in Australia. You're gonna need water. White Rhyme Ridge, you need the that snow gear. But every other map, you don't need anything special. But they're the ones. I'm going to dump the dog over here before I get in the tower. Do a few calls and it gives me a time to have a drink. <laughs> I'm running out of voice. Alright, dog, come over here. Yeah, so I've got a male Labrador black and I've got this one, female. So it just really depends on, I suppose, what type of hunt you're doing. And I'm pretty sure the Bloodhound and the Scent Hound are pretty much similar in the way they're going to do the tracking for you. I don't know which one will be, you know, the best and, and stuff, but I just went for this one. I like the look of that dog. And because we have the Bloodhound 
in the Call of the Wild. So I've already got a Bloodhound in a way. So yeah, I thought I'll go the Scent Hound instead. The Labrador's good dogs for your... You know, you can bring them too when you rabbit hunt and pheasant hunt. Uh, they'll pick up pheasants and rabbits. The only bird they can't pick up is a turkey because it's too big. So we've got our little lake in front of us there. And every now and again, when you're here, right behind us there, there'll either be a carcass, or sometimes it's over there near the lake. Obviously, there's not one here today. And that's when you get wolf. We'll be walking through here a lot. We'll call them as well. We'll call wolf. Because uh, you do get them running through here. I just wanted to throw out a few calls and just see how this uh, tower's happening. I've had this here for years. And what I'd spew on, I probably should have had the door at the back here. Doesn't really matter. As long as you get a lot of animals coming this way forward. And when you bow an arrow through these small windows sometimes, if you get it wrong and you shoot, you hit his twang and your arrow's stuck like in the side of the tower. It's like, oh, damn. Like a hitbox is a bit off or something. Uh, a little drink of my cordy on there. Just put my hunter made out. Watch out, the wolf doesn't come in quick, eh? I'll move in silently and very quickly. <laughs> Just to G you up. Might another bigger mule deer. What was that other one we got? 186 or something. Score. 182, 186. I'm like, look good. But just, you know. You want something 200 and over in the mule deer. Oh, well, there we go. We have an elk straight away corn. So you can bow an arrow. You know, your heart's content when you hit a tower and a tree stand. You can just sit here and quiet, quietly hunt. And just keep calling. Before you know it, you have a, you know... You get an elk come in, then a mule deer will pop out the side because you've call, been calling mule deers. So I'll call this elk in and hopefully it's a big bugger. I put one in my lodge. I think it was a score of 366. I only put it in there because I had a space. It sort of looks alright, but I reckon 380 and above for Texamidise and a Rocky Mountain elk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can get over 400. So they can get pretty damn big. Like we don't have great ones in this uh, in this game. But when you get a pretty much top weight, any animal you can tell that you look at it and go, geez, this thing is huge. You can just tell the difference. So that's sort of like your great one in this game. And everything else, not typical. Albino and pie bald are very rare. You know, compared to uh, Call the Wild. Right, there's people out there with more great ones in Call the Wild than I've got uh, non typicals. So when you do get a non-typical in this game or a piebald or any type of albino, even if it's female, it's probably worthwhile taxidermizing it. Because you might not see another one for a fair while. I was lucky enough the other week to get a, it was only a small one, a, a non-typical uh, black tail male. And uh, yeah, I, I've got it in the lodge. Because it's only my second non-typical black tail in the game. And now we've got Wolf coming in at the back there. Um, I've got six um, six mule deer non-typical, I think. Four or five white tail, but I've only got two black tail. We can call the Wolf. You know, usually if they come, they'll come in pretty quick. I 
one's behind us there, and the elk is over. Oh, elk is here. Oh, we don't want the wolf. Elk is behind that bush. Looks all right from there. Yeah, that 310 to 405. This will be the best one all day. So now we don't want the wolf, all right? Go away, wolf. <laughs> I do not want it now. We're going to call our friend here. I'm just going to iron it. Oh, it's you got to look at the, the back tines and see what they look like to really... They're, they're, you know, it's not going to be 400. It's going to be more like... I don't know. Maybe 340? That's not that wolf, is it? I want to spook the wolf and then lose this. As it comes straight this way, because like I said, the front of this tower, oh, we might have to shoot through this window. If you get it wrong, you'll twang it on the hitbox. Come on, buddy. That's it, that's it, that's it. I'll leave him there and just see if the wolf is coming up the back. Uh, it's like the wolf ignored us, which is pretty good. <laughs> I don't mind. We'll, we'll pick up our little friend here. Now, no way it's going to be 400. Even though the score went to 405, there's no way. Like, it's not bad, but it's, yeah, it's not, um, it's not super big. We hit it good, 334, it's a 328, so there you go. It was, you know, it said 310 to 405, whatever, so there, it was just above the 300, really. And only 59, damn you. <laughs> I want more money. I'll get back in the tower and just keep calling, see what arrives, if anything. <laughs> If you're wondering where this is on the map, it's right here. So if, if you're, you know, coming from this way or this way, once you get to this bend here, you'll see like a little lake there, which is pretty much in front of us. Oh, here we are. Yeah, this little lake here, one there, and you got the river there. So it's a nice area here just to, uh, they just seem to walk through a lot, the animals. <coughs> Hopefully we can get another mule deer, another big one. Sort of glad the wolf didn't come there. Because they can come up and get under your tower. And then it, you know, spooks and then that elk would have ran. And when you're setting up for bow and arrow, it's the worst thing that can happen. You can go the long shot. <laughs> but yeah, it's better when they're close. We'll just drop a few calls and we'll see if Evelyn comes. We'll call that wolf now. You never know your luck. It's apparently a little elk in stress and it uh, attracts the wolves. So that sound is emulating. When I first heard it, I went, wow, sounds like a, when you put air in a balloon and let it out. <laughs> oh, my dog's out of sight, which is good. <coughs> I'm getting that caught, you know, animals here soon. We'll go back down near the river. We might walk back up in the forest. So this is one game you sort of do use uh, tree stands, stands and towers, uh, you know, a, a bit. 
Well, I do anyway. I don't mind it. And then when I'm not in the mood for it, then I just walk and hunt. As long as you're in a comp, it's nice to sit back and try and call, you know, a bunch in. See, you know, if you get a big one coming up. Let's do the wolf call again. They do come in silently here. As long as you don't hear them coming. And they're right on top of you. Had a ton of mule deer come out of there right in front of me in my you know, my days here. They do sleep too in this game, the animals. You will uh, every now and again walk up on it's just sleep. They do have sleeping times, which is pretty weird. But they do do it. The animals fall asleep in this game and uh, then they're not coming to your call <laughs> while they're asleep. I've shot a fair few while they've slept. The only things I haven't seen sleeping in this game is birds. But everything else, I've caught napping pretty much. Probably because the birds are either on the water or they're flying, so they probably don't sleep in the game. Which is a bit unfair. I don't think I've ever seen rabbits sleeping either. Unless they do it in their burrows or something. Pekabine Bay, that's a good, uh, I like that map. I like the water buffalo and the Bantang. The rooster deer and the Samba deer, they're pretty cool as well. But yeah, you need water though for that map. Or well, don't run too much and it'll last longer <laughs> before you need a sip of water. I think when they first bought out Australia, you actually didn't need water for it. I remember you didn't, you could just, you know, you didn't need any of that stuff. Then they brought the water into the game and, uh, yeah. <coughs> then you needed it. Fair enough, you know. Then parts of Australia are pretty bloody hot. <coughs> and a pick bean bay will be a uh, tropical, so. It'll be a uh, real humid weather there. Uh, looks like maybe we're not going to do much better than that. We'll see. We'll hang a little bit. They could all be uh, having a nap. The buggers. What time of day is it in the in the game? Twelve thirty-four. Man, we have walked eight k's. Not bad, huh? They rack up. I don't realise how much you walk. Then. I don't want to bore everybody. Oh, get close to the door before we can get out. Let's get that little buddy. Oh, there is a carcass there, see? So they'll attract wolf. That's probably where their female wolf was earlier, a bit down near there. Because we shot a gun probably earlier, we scared the birds off that fly around it. So yeah, there was a, it usually is around here a carcass. <coughs> On the one side, that side, or the side, the lake side. Well, it's actually a nice map to walk around. As we, you know, we walked along the river and see how many animals we saw down there. I haven't heard a puma today. Oh, there we go. There's wolf roaming. Yeah, I think they should have made it so. I thought when they were bringing out the wolves in this game, they'd attack us. And I was pretty hoping, you know, pretty much hoping they would. Imagine getting attacked by a pack of wolf. <laughs> that would be awesome. 
But yeah, maybe that's why they didn't do it because you know you end up with a whole pack attacking you or something. I don't know, but I, I don't mind that idea. Right, we should be getting more mule deer around here, to be honest. Where are they? Uh, female elk, we don't want her. Looks like we're going to attract her anyway, since she called. I was going to crouch a little bit down here. Since we haven't made a lot of sound, we haven't sh really shot a gun for a while, so. Hey, the minister. Hey, girl, man. Good to see you. I'm doing good. Hope you are too. Haven't seen you for a while there, bud. Hope life is going good for you. I'm having a pretty good hunt during this uh, game. The minister is actually a real minister. So <laughs> oh, I need a call, man. Who's that wolf again? You never get an animal crossing these either, I don't think, these bridges. You never see a track on them anyway. Oh, we've got down the river anything. Plenty of wolf tracks along here. That's all I'm getting at the moment. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm hoping for a big mule deer would be nice. across the river there. Uh, all, all is quiet on the western front here. Another bear would be nice. Oh, what was that? That was a female on it. Yeah, she's uh she's following me now like a puppy dog. Walk down here if we sort of have no luck. I might head back to our elk zone that we started at and have a look through that forest. The last elk was alright, but you know, still not uh, worthy of a lodge. Oh, I can hear uh, some ravens <laughs> crowing away, so there's a, another carcass around somewhere. I notice a lot of people when I watch them. Uh, stream they don't call a lot when they walk i'm not really sure why i think it's just not in their habit but it is in this game it's worthwhile when you're walking just call doesn't hurt you can't over call so it doesn't really matter but if you're just walking don't call you know until you stop or 
I don't know. You're probably going to miss out on the animal here and there. Oh, that's just the way I see it. I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, that's the bottom of Trethel, also a bear's butt over there. I've only shot one with the pistol today. Which I probably. Oh, it is reloaded, the whole five. And this pistol mainly I only use it on bears. So all the kills it's got is mainly bears. <laughs> it's been a busy gun. Now I'll walk up this paddock, see what's up here. Get a few nice sock in this paddock every now and again too. I did put a tower at the top of it. You probably could have put the tower down here. You could have put it anywhere in this paddock. I just worked it up the top. I saw one dude when the wolves come out, he had towers along the river. I seem to work out okay too. 30 magpie keys just under an hour, I can't complain. Yeah, that is pretty cool, man. And you would have made a lot of GM out of that. You know, over 300, 400 or something. Because if you take every goose's, say, I don't know, just average amount at 12, but you're going to get a lot that are a lot, you know, pay a lot more than that. All right, we've got a carcass up there because we have the ravens circling. I have a look at them. I just like watching them. They fly really weird. Oh, there's only a couple this time. There's usually a big flock. Oh, there's like, you know, ten of them <laughs> flying in a circle around the thing. I don't believe you can shoot them out the air. So if you ever go to shoot them, I don't think you can uh, shoot them birds out the air. There's that tower up there. So there could be wolf hanging around this paddock. It's a pretty big paddock, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably one of the biggest paddocks in the game. And we've got... There we are. There's two up high. Was that a male... I'm not you, I heard like a, I thought I heard a male bark before that. But there's the rest of the ravens, there's the pack. Look at that. How many you reckon are there? More, ten, easy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe eleven, I think. And yet there was two up there, where'd they go? Oh, they're still up there. That just looks so weird, man. But if you shoot a gun or make a big noise, they will fly away. <laughs> just, they just look like they should fall out the sky because they're not flapping enough or something. Oh, what's that now? So I heard something growl. Oh, it won't come up. We're going to get in this tower and just see if we can... I'm pretty sure I heard a mule deer bark. Let's see if we can call it in. Just sit back and have a look at uh, what's going on. We'll park the dog up here. Yeah, that's what I said. Usually there's like a dozen of them flying around a carcass. I could only see the two up there until we got closer. Ah, oh, there they all are. So this was the second last map, I think, entered into the game. The last one was Pickabean Bay. So I'm not sure we'll ever get another map in this game, another reserve, but we'll get the odd new animal, like the fellow deer are going to come in. So, you know, apparently it's this year, I have no idea when. I think Tree Kiwi said they will show a photo sooner or later, which would be nice, because uh, we get to have a look at them. Dog, obey me. <laughs> right, where'd you go? Lay down. Down. Alright, there we go. Now stay. 
I'll get up here and just drop a few calls. I thought I heard a, a male bark, but then the female out called, and I couldn't. That's all I was picking up was her. So I'm just going to drop a few calls, and we'll see what uh, anything, if anything, can you know, pop out. We'll call our wolf as well, since we have a carcass here. There could be wolf around. Uh, how many bows do I have in? Oh, I've got a lot. That's cool. So you get a nice view here. You can see why I put the tower right up here. You've got the forest behind us. You have a uh, mule deer and I'll walk out of there. Out of there. And, you know, of course, across the river. That's when you could put one here and then you could put one down further near the river if you wanted to. Because uh, when you get this map, there's no towers. It's just an empty map with two uh, outposts on it. So it's up to you to uh, whatever you're going to do with it. You might not do anything and just you know walk around and hunt, which is cool too. <laughs> it just freaks me out the way they do that. So if you could shoot them out of the sky, you just have to go up near them and shoot them with a shotgun with birdshot, wouldn't you? Where is the timber gold located? Um... I don't know, this is the map here. So that's Timber Gold. Um, that'd be Ruggeroo Bayou. Um, Settlers Creek there. And uh, Loggers Point there. There's Red Feather Falls. So in between Red Feather Falls and sort of here, which is Settlers Creek. It's my favourite map, really, this one. I really like it. it. Just, you know, you hunt and it just looks good being here. It's like the way this map feels and looks. And, of course, you know, the animals on it are pretty cool. You've got wolf, grizzly, bear. Uh, sometimes when it rains, it sounds like there's you hear, you know, feet <laughs> moving. It's just the rain. Uh, did I, I want to hear, see if this mule the answers back or not. I'm pretty sure I heard heard a male, but I could have been wrong. Oh, yeah, so there, there we go. All right, bud. Oh, man, you are, you are up that way. All right. You're going to make it hard. There you are. I don't think you're super big, though, are you? Nah. It'll shoot you anyway. Don't bother me. Don't step on me, dog, if you can help it. Hey. <laughs> I've seen him walk over my dog to get to the call because I've had the dog in the way, which it is now. It's in the line of fire there, the dog. So hopefully it doesn't freak the mule deer out. It should be fine. So that could have been when I heard call. I thought it was actually behind me. But yeah, it's, it's this side. Uh, we've got to, once again, we're at the wrong side of the tower here. You've got to watch it. You don't hit the hitbox of the tower. Stop, please, buddy. Oh, he turned as I went to shoot. If he didn't turn, I reckon I've got a nice long shot in there. As long as you got to watch, if they get too close, then you can't get the angle on them. You just can't, you know, they get too close to the tower. Oh, we hit. Ah, uh, dog, come here. Once again. All right, get up. Once again, dog, I need you. Do your stuff. No, no, don't go in the tower. <laughs> I was trying to get in the tower. Alright, so we'll just follow the dog, see what happens. Especially in this long grass, it can be really hard to track, man, on some parts of this map. Like your tracks sort of disappear in the long grass, so... <laughs> And depending on what time of day is and what colour you use, and I usually use this uh, pinky red, I've used blue, I've used purple. Uh oh, this thing hasn't died, so the dog doesn't know what to do. So I'm going to come out here and see if I'm going to... Oh, there's another one calling. Alright, we're going to get back in the tower, dog. We're just going to call these 
things in. Follow me, dog. Wor worry about that mule deer later. It wasn't that big anyway. We'll call the dog back. It sounds like if you hit the mule deer in the leg and it's running and running, it's not going to die. The dog sort of won't track it yet. Alright, dog, I'm going to put you on the other side of the tower here. All the mule deer are coming from this side now. So I've dumped the dog on this side, so it's out of the line of fire. And the mule deer doesn't step on it. Alright, come this side. Alright, there you are, good girl. Alright, lay down. Lay down. There you go. Stay. Alright, we've got to get back in the tower. Oh, we have an elk as well. It's all happening. I've got an elk and a mule deer coming from nearly the same area. So we'll just call them both and, you know, whoever gets here first. And we'll call the elk. At yeah, certain times of the day, this tower is on. It's really good. And you might come here too early in the morning, it seems a bit like nothing's happening. So it's just, I don't know, it's just luck too. When you, you know, if the animals are in the area while you're there and you're calling and you've been quiet. They'll just keep coming in. But we might have lost that other mule deer, I'm not really that worried about it. Because that was a bad shot. As soon as I went to shoot it turned. And I think I got the other side of its leg and not the lung. So I hit probably the front leg. That's what it looked like to me anyway, but um, so I'm not that worried about it at the moment. I probably should have waited till it stopped, but sometimes when they get right under you, like, see how you can't, like even when you've got the bow in your hand, so what happens with these things? If you get too close, but you can't now look down all the way. So you've got to let them get about there, and that's, that's it. You've got to go for the shot. Once again, you know, when they come on this side, it's better. You've got this big gap here. But on this side, it's a bit, you know, a bit more crappier. But they had to put a door in, didn't they? So, <laughs> they let us get in, so the door has to be there. A lot I can do about it. Now, let's give them both a call again. For sure, one of them will come in. If not both. Just who gets here first and how far away they are from each other. Uh, we'll see what happens. You know, towers and tree stands, they make it so much easier when the animal's are around. That's it, you just use your bow and arrow and uh, make yourself some GM. I don't have the crossbows in this game or the reverse draw crossbow or... Just have normal bows. I might buy one one time, but it's like shooting a bow out of a gun, I suppose. I know it's quiet in that, but... <laughs> I prefer these in a way. I don't know why. I just feel more comfortable with them. Although the other ones will be easier to use. I'd imagine. I don't know because I don't own them. But I've watched people uh, use them on streams and videos. And they're deadly quiet and they can go pretty pretty far in a way too. Now the waiting game begins. But the wind seems alright, didn't bother the other mule deer came right in, so... Man, 
now I've nearly been going for it. It doesn't feel like it that I've been playing that long. Like, I really like sort of a long session in this game. That's what I mean, like, that, that's where the Hunter Call of the Wild comes in its own. If you only got an hour, you can go in that game and shoot ten animals or some crap. In this game, you, you, know, you might only get one or two sometimes. So both games have their advantages, and we've seen our first animal appear. Hopefully it's not a female elk or anything. Oh, it's a pretty wide beam on that one. Not as big as our last one. That's good. If it gets here before the mule deer, that's, that's fine by me. I just don't want them together. <coughs> this time I've got to shoot straight and, uh, yeah, make sure of it. I'm going to call on this side to see if I'm going to make him come out wide. <coughs> I'm going to turn in. Turn back out wide a bit, mate, so I can use this window here. The classic game is much more realistic, I suppose. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's, a, you know, it's a harder hunting game. You got to work a little bit harder for the animals, and they, they come less than in Call of the Wild. Like, you know, if, um, I've seen the elk in Call of the Wild and, you know, there could be like four males and three females all together. But in this game, you don't really get that as much. You do have, uh, like a bunch of male mule deers will come in, three or four of them, sometimes with the elk as well. But then you get a lot of single ones like this. Oh, now we've got Wolf. Got a male wolf. He is just down there, man. Uh, hopefully the mule deer is still coming in. Oh, there it is there. It is right there, man. I gotta watch the wolf doesn't run out. To come so I can shoot through the good window, mate. That's a good boy, a good boy. I should stop when he gets near that elk. There's only a small one. Oh, right through the back of the neck. Now, will the wolf come? It was only just there somewhere. And then trees, I reckon, on the other side of them. There he is. He's going for the carcass. Let's have a look at him. Oh, he's a nice dark one. Look at that. That's a nice size wolf too, 15 and 17. We've got a, is that a female there? I'm going to try and call him up. I could use the gun on him, but I'm going to try not to. We might have other, apart from all these females that I've attracted coming in, I might have other males as well. Uh, he is eating the carcass, man. There you go, look at that. See, they emulate him taking chunks of meat off. Looks good, doesn't it? So anytime you see a carcass, you know there's going to be wolf moving in and out of that area. And so we're lucky enough to have one here, and he's going to come to the call now. So this is going to be a nice nifty shot. You see my dog down there, better shoot the right dog, eh? <laughs> oh, closer, closer. I've hit the back. Bad shot, we've hit it, but I've hit the back of it. Damn it. It's my bad, that one. You see the arrow sticking out of him, actually. I'll oh, we'll go pick our friends up here. Our new friends that we've made. They're good friends too. They never annoy you and talk too much. Oh, look at the arrow! It came out of the out of the body there. It looks weird, doesn't it? 
That looks so weird. All right. So I went through the skull, neck bone, neck bone three, and the lung and liver. 52. That's not bad. Now I've got our friend here. We hit the heart on that one. Right through the neck. I do that with uh, coyotes sometimes when they run under you in the tree stand. You go right through the neck and hit him in the heart. It's so weird, but it's just such an effective shot. Now, we did hit the wolf. Uh, see how hard it is to see the long grass here? Where is the wolf track? It's around here, right? Let's go back a bit more. Oh, that, is that a, a zip? Oh, no, we can't worry about the wolf now. Oh, hang on, give me that back. Alright, it's back up that way. So let's get back in the tower. See what I mean? Don't use a gun sometimes, and all the animals will just keep coming to your call. Hey, Ken Thomas. Oh, the honey's going pretty good. Pretty good so far. I've got a f you know, few mule deer, a few elk, about five grizzly bear, a few wolf. So it's uh yeah it's in patches but it's it's been pretty good actually. Making a few uh, GM today because I didn't have to oh no did I no I didn't buy any ammo today I don't think didn't buy nothing. I usually usually try and keep in my inventory like a hundred and forty arrows or so. Same with the seven mil bullets that I use a lot. So I try and keep that up so then my next hunt I won't have to buy anything. So everything I make then will sort of go into profit. So I've got a mule deer down on that road somewhere. Or right on the side of the road. We have an injured wolf. <laughs> Again. It's better we give it time to die anyway if it's going to die. And we do have an injured mule deer which may not die because I think I hit it in the leg. And there's our mule deer right there. Just coming into frame. Ah, oh, it's a small bugger, mate. We'll call him anyway. It's not very big. All right, we'll keep calling elk because uh, yeah, you'll get three hour stream. You might get three animals that over three hundred. Well, you'll get more than three in three hours, but um. Yeah, you won't get the multitude of animals that you end up getting in Call of Wild. And these won't pay as much either. These won't pay, you know, like if you get a female, say, a uh, elk in that game, they're like 700 bucks you get. Well, in this game, the female elk's going to be worth zero. So she's not worth shooting. Uh, the mule deer's there, I just can't see it now. So I'll just keep calling. Like I said, I'll call out because uh, we've called them. There could be another few around. But I think the wolf will die. I'm not sure about that other mule deer we hit. I'm not sure that's going to die. Oh, eventually it will, but I mean, it, <laughs> it's going to last while. All right, we're picking it up with that, but I can't see it here. Oh, there it is. Is that another one? I thought it was moving straight down the middle of the road. Is that a different one or did it move sideways? Okay, must be the same one. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that could be worth 50 GM though, that little one there. Not really big, but, you know, if you're starting out and you got your 2 4 3 and your deer bleat, well, you know. Why not? But once you can in this game, if you're a new player, it's see how we use the bow and arrow, we don't, we're not scaring the area and just animals just keep coming in. That's where you'll make more money with a bow and arrow. And once you get in and you enjoy it, you, I've had more kills with this uh, than any other weapon I've got. So I use this, you know, we're in uh, Call of Wild, I don't bow and arrow hunt in that game. <laughs> it doesn't appear to be a need to because there's so many animals around. 
But in this game, it's a real advantage. Are we going to do mule deer? You're just going to sniff the air and sightsee, or are you coming in? Sure, you're coming in. Just, oh, <laughs> try and make you march up, mate. Uh, I heard another bear, I think. Didn't show up on there, but I heard like a growl down near the river. Wow, 117 gram magpie. That's all right. Much more incentive to hunt with the bow on classic yeah it is it is much more incentive because you you just you're not stirring the area up well you don't get hunting pressure here as you've noticed we've fired off a lot of arrows from here and no hunting pressure but just the bang of the gun if there was any other mule deer or elk coming in you've just uh you've spooked them all and they won't settle down again for you know five ten minutes Like at first I never used the bow and arrow in this game. I always used the guns. Then I thought, oh, you know, I'll buy the I bought the Parker Python and this one the snake bite. And since I have, like I usually take a bow every hunt. It's pretty weird if I don't. Every now and again I don't, but mainly we have a bow on board. Come on, buddy. Even though you're small, we'll take you. How was that wolf gnawing at the... Look good, didn't it? It was gnawing at the carcass there. And then it turned around and came straight to the call. So that was awesome. Oh, he's going to come dead in on me. I'll give him one more call, so... If he is going to stop, he'll walk again. Oh, I've got another, i got a female elk at the back there I can see in a bush. Oh man, I've got to watch this tail, you don't get stuck on it. That's a female, isn't it? Yep. Oh, I don't think we've got anything else coming in. What is that? Uh, it's a female, that's the problem. You know, of them little buggers coming in. Had one but magpie goose pay 71. Wow, that is awesome, man. Imagine getting 10 of them. Uh, 700 GM. Hey, I'm, st I'm still alive, boom slang. I'm enjoying my hunt. I've been looking forward to coming here. I nearly came here during the week. But I went to Loggers Point instead because I hadn't been there for ages either. Um, so, yeah. All right, I've got to find my deer here. You hit him in the grass. and Man, it is so hard to find. I should put another dot <laughs> with my binoculars. Uh, it's just here, right? Where'd you go? There you are. Is that you there? Ah, oh, beautiful. We found it. You don't realise how long the grass is until you get in there. You go, ah, so long. Alright, so we've got 54 for that. Only a small one. Once again, you can guarantee most of them are going to be 50 or over. Unless they're really tiny, then, you know, you're looking at 20 or 30. Alright, now we did injure a wolf, which may be dead now. I can hear them females running off, which is a good thing. I might get the dog onto that. Where's the dog up? Now I'm going to find this wolf blood, which I haven't found yet, right? It should be here somewhere. Oh, should I get in the tower? Oh, it's a puma man. Oh, damn. That is just crazy stuff. I'm going to call it. I told you to get puma down here. I, I used to think they were only up, um, up along here where the sheep are. In my last couple of hunts down here, I heard them along the river. I thought, no, they're down here as well. Now, the problem with this is, right, I might try and get in the tower, is a bobcat will come to this, but I'm not sure a puma's going to. I've tried this before, and the puma wouldn't come, but I ended up, keep track. I kept tracking it till I saw it in the distance, and then I shot it with the bull pup up the butthole, 
I'm killed it. Hi. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure this one's gonna come. I get the dog once again. Just lay down, buddy. Good girl. I'll get in here and see if this puma actually comes out because we'll get a better view of it here. If it does come, I'm going to shoot it with the bull pup. I won't chance it. And it seemed to be like on the other side of this bush here when it growled. So whether it comes up towards the call or not. Now, if we had the electronic call, this would be a great paddock. Put it in, put your twirly thing in front of you. You get a puma for sure. Hey, Colin Brett, how you going? Getting battered by a storm at the moment. Where you live? I heard some places are having bad storms. I saw it on the TV. It was Europe, I think. Somewhere in England or Europe. They're getting some code red storm or something. They look vicious, man. So if you're getting that one, geez, hunker down. I did see something on the telly about a crazy storm. I'm pretty sure it was England, and they said it was going to be the worst storm in a, a long time. So if that's the one, be careful. We haven't had a storm in Melbourne for a little while now. I don't, we'll call a few times. I don't think this will come, but you just don't know because they... The cats do sometimes, when they do come to a call, they then go to a stalk mode and slowly make their way in. And other times they sort of, like, the bobcat will run in a bit quicker. But then sometimes it goes in the stalk mode and it just takes 10 minutes for it to come in. Oh, that's a wolf. We've got a wolf, actually. Might be able to get another wolf if I can shoot straight. We did call for wolf, so is it coming to the call? You were late, comer. Let's see if it goes to the carcass and does like that. It is. Let's watch it chew. There you go. We're going to see it twice. I actually like seeing little things like that in the game. It actually adds to it to, for me. You live in Britain, so you are getting that crazy storm, man. Yeah, they showed it on tally here on the news. And they were saying, like, it's, you know, the worst one in a long, long time. And they showed the map where it was going, and it's all red. I think it's a code red storm. If I'm getting that right or not. Look at the tail on that wolf. Yeah, now it's going to come straight to our call. Now, can bat shoot properly this time? <laughs> Wish me luck, fellas. Could be all over. I stopped. I can't see the blood from the other wolf from up here. Where the hell did that go? Did the track disappear? Oh, man. We got it. And see the arrow? It was freaking out, mate. I got too close to that. And it was went to judder. I am so lucky I hit that then. So lucky, man. I said, can I see the other blood from up here from that other wolf? We did hit the other wolf, right? You're oh, there, dead. Where's the track from the other wolf we hit? It seems to have disappeared, which is really weird. All right, let's get out. Oh, I heard a bear again. I think we've got a bear down near the river. And we did have a puma down there, which won't come. It will not come and say hello to us. So it's smarter than a dog. <laughs> Right, here we go. Oh, right through the head, man. Look at that. Let's have a close look at that. That is awesome. Check it out. Right through the freaking head. <laughs> Squash down grass. Let's get a better look. Ah, uh, the -oh, grass going to get in the way. Nice, though. Right through the middle of the head. So it could be a brain shot. It is. Nice brain shot. Oh, nine. We're going to get nine. We're rich. <laughs> oh, really? That gave me number eight in Howling Good Fun? It doesn't seem like much good fun in that competition. That gave me eight. That should be about 50th, man. That was a small wolf. I can't see the blood of the other wolf. Do you think the track has disappeared? 
Oh, where the hell did it go? I might go and have another look at this river down here. I did hear a bear down here. Or what was that that clicked? Nothing? So we saw the other wolf run down here, right? And we hit it, and I could, I said, look, the arrow's still sticking out of it. So where's its tracks? It is uh, a bit insanely crazy, because usually this game doesn't lose tracks. I know we're in the long grass, so maybe I'm not, just not seeing it. But I'm pretty sure it ran this side of this tree, because I was watching it run off. I said, look, the arrow's sticking out of it. So there should be tracks here somewhere where this wolf ran. Ah, here, here's a track. Is this, is this a wolf? No, <laughs> it's a Rocky Mountain Elk. Uh, we might have, this might be the first track fail I've ever seen in this game where it actually disappeared. Either I'm not seeing it under that tower, which I was looking with the binoculars, I couldn't see any track at all or any blood. The wolf ran this side of that bush there. And uh, yeah, what the hell has happened? Let's just go to crouch here in case there is something down near the river. And so that towel paid off. Just sitting in there while we sat in there half an hour. We've injured a mule deer and a wolf. I can't see the wolf tracks. So I'm not going to bother about the mule deer. We did get a couple of mule deer and an elk. And we got that last wolf. Which was very lucky because uh, I got stuck on the tower and the bow just started to judder and jitter everywhere. So very lucky to pull that shot off. But I seriously think that other, unless I'm just not seeing it up there, that, that other wolf track disappeared for some reason. There's a track here, what's this? Maybe I just wasn't seeing it. Because so I've never had a track fail really in this uh, game. So it's probably me, it's probably not the game. So I'm not going to blame the game, I'm going to blame me. Yes, wolf blood. Let's go back to that. Ah, right, dog, you have a job to do. So we didn't get a track file, which is good. I've never seen it in this game. I don't want to see it. A game without uh, funny bugs is a good game. Did my dog pick that up? I saw it running in a circle. Wait, what are you doing, dude? Hello? Are you tracking the wolf? Because the wolf ran down towards the river. Uh, ran back up? It's, um, has it gone crazy? Uh, let's follow the dog. And the dog doesn't need to see through the grass. Oh, it's barking. All right. So the wolf has died. Uh, there's more blood there. Oh, here it is. Here it is. So the wolf I thought that got away didn't get away. Beautiful, man. And that's a 46. So that's a better 62 uh, kilos. There we go, we're still eight in that howling good fun thing. Um, yeah. Hey, Red Dragon, how you going? Should we go back to that tower just for another couple? We'll give a couple of calls out here and just see. Right. We've pretty much called this area up and we've had a few animals coming out. So I'll pop back here for 10 minutes and then if I get nothing, I might go back to the other elk spot and see if we can... Maybe finish off with a couple of big elk. Yeah, this has got to be one of the biggest paddocks in the game, I think. It's just huge. You could have a game of football here. I remember I was in here, I, was, I think on this rock I stood on, and I had a werewolf running up and down me. And I got it right on top of here. I sort of shot one there, one was running up here and it actually got me and killed me. I couldn't believe it. I was, like, I was on the rock. So you got to, when you do that with the wolf, uh, werewolf hunt, you got to bring uh, med kits. <laughs> like a whole bunch of them. Because you will die, you will die a lot. Yeah, I couldn't see that wolf track up here. Like, I, pr this grass is long, and if you got the wrong colour happening, they're harder to see. 
Oh, I've got a mule veer down the river, so I'm going to keep calling him. We'll get the dog settled up here. So far enough away so that we can just keep walking. It won't bother that mule deer down there. I come up here for me, dog ray. Right, I'm going to dump you here on this side. Get down, girl. Does anyone have the bloodhounds in this game? I had a question before. What is the best dog? I got the scent hound here. Uh, I'm happy with that. But, you know, the bloodhound in, in this game might be better. I don't know. I don't own one. So if anyone knows, let me know. If you've got a bloodhound, how do you rate it? I don't mean call the wild bloodhound. I do mean classic. Oh, just before this movie comes, I'm just going to quickly go to the bathroom and fill up my drink. I'll be right back. Give me a minute, guys. I will burst. Sign the mule there. Yeah, I might be up here yet. We'll get a few more calls and uh, make it come up from the river, hopefully. Yeah, we're not a bad towel, this one either. But yeah, it can be quiet some stages. That's why, you know, you just move from that one to that one. I have enough and they can go to that one. <laughs> but I think I'm, I'm going to put a few more towers on this, uh, maybe a couple on the other side. Because it's a big map. Like, we, you know, I could put a few more things on this and just make it more enjoyable. And next time, you know, we should open it up and let you all come in and have a hunt. I don't know, you reckon this could handle eight players? Probably. As long as everyone wasn't hunting too close together and, you know, firing guns off, I suppose. Alright, so we've got one mule deer I did injure and it ran off that way. I think we're going to leave it. Like, I think I hit it in the leg. So, still maybe a uh, mobile. <laughs> Just limping. We do not know. But I do hate leaving animals in this game. You know, you, you shoot it and you know you've hit it. <laughs> But yeah, every now and again you just think, oh, let's just get the letter from Doc and uh, we'll deal with it then. He always sends you a letter. You shot an animal out there and you didn't collect it and blah, blah. Uh, yeah, whatever, but you never do that. It's like I'm hearing feet. So what's something under me? Is that just the dog smacking its lips? You're not walking, are you, dog? No, you get up. Oh, I heard another bear man. It is far away. It's not coming up on the hunter, mate, but it's growling every now and again. Alright, come on, mule deer. Show yourself. Be huge. Be bigger than that 186 one or whatever it was we got earlier. If you want something like 220, it'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Whack it straight in the uh, lodge. <laughs> I think they go up to like 240 mule deer in this game, some like that, somewhere around that that number. They can get pretty freaking huge. Oh, I'll give it a few minutes. 
I got called, so hopefully it's coming. We wouldn't have scared it all pretty far away when we walked up here. Yeah, you can see why I really like this map. Like, it's just so much, um, so many animals going by. And I've got a soft spot for it too, because uh, when it first came out, I got into the mule deer pretty, you know, I really liked them. And then I, there he is. Oh, there's, there's three of them. That one. So the one at the back. That will be. Yeah, one fifth of two hundred. I don't, I'm not sure it's bigger than our last one, but it's a decent size. We're gonna try and might have to shoot this with a gun because it is surrounded by another male and two females, and we know what happens. What we know what females do in this game, don't we? They will ruin your hunt. <laughs> they will uh, upset you every now and again when you get a big one like that coming in, and the female freaks out and they all run. So, oh no. But so that one at the front, that's no good, that's no good. The, and the big one's going to stay at the back. I can hear that thing screaming. We have a werewolf on this map or something. What is that noise? It must be a bear. Ah, there it is. I'm going to shoot this thing, man, with the gun. Well, yeah, I'm not mucking around. There's too many coming in at once. Come on, move a bit clear from that uh, bush, mate, and you're gone. There we go, there we go. Ah, let's go see what this fella is. I don't think it is as big as the other one that we, we did get earlier. But, you know, you just never know. I don't think it is, though. So. Let's run down. And that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Once again, this isn't a huge mule deer. Looks good, because, you know, like I'm saying, I think they get to like 240. So whatever score this is, then imagine the extra the extra score up to 240, what they'd look like. That looks all right, doesn't it? That's not too bad. But yeah, it's not going to be super huge. Let's, uh, let's see. Uh, it's 103. Uh, 182, it's very similar to the one we got last time. I think the other one was 182 or 186. So it's similar, very similar size. And 86 GM, that's what I like there. 86 GM, that is nice. That puts a 16th in the, like you've got to shoot two mule deer and your two biggest count for the competition. So you can see we're only 16th and we got two mule deer pretty much that size. They've been our biggest ones today. Now, do we dare just go back to this and just call it a few more minutes and just say, it's been a good spot, this, at the moment. Even though I shot the gun then, it's going to take five minutes for the area to settle down. And the dog actually stayed this time. Usually when I shoot an animal and go to pick it up, it comes and tries to photobomb me because it thinks I'm going to take a trophy shot. <laughs> well, that's what it seems like the dog's doing. And so on this we can uh, pull it down if we want. You can um, hold it and you can um, take it down and then put it somewhere else. And when you bring a tower out of your inventory, all you're bringing out is a building permit. You actually can't carry the tower. It's a building permit and then you find a spot like this and you pull out your building permit and you tell them to place it here. And it takes 24 hours, and then you come back and the tower is built. If you come back in like 12 hours, it's only half built. You know what I mean? You can see it, like there's different stages or whatever. Or well, you used to be, I don't know if you still, you probably still can. So I think it used to take longer to build them, and now they've shortened it. I'm pretty sure it's 24 hours, it used to be longer, so. Yeah, now unfortunately there, I did use the gun, but you know, just going through history of hunting, when you have two females coming up ahead of the, the male that you want, and we had a small male as well, one of them's going to, if it spooks, you've done them all. They're all gone. So we could have sat back with a bow and arrow, and everything might have got ruined. 
so uh, if you're going to use the gun there's no use letting them get super close you might as well just take it out as soon as you can save any uh, heartache for yourself if uh, it did all go wrong Yeah, we'll just try another few minutes. If no luck, we'll go back to our other elk spot and we'll probably finish the game now. I can't believe I streamed so long, but I am enjoying this. And it's good to see a few people pop in tonight I haven't seen for a while. Like the Minister of Defence, haven't seen him for a while. We had Mario pop in earlier. Kernsey is here, so you know, a few people I haven't seen for a while, which is good. Ah, so we've got two or four we've been here, I think. Two or three. I think two, I think it was. So that's pretty cool. And we watched them both eat off the carcass, which I really like. They do that animation. Like, the carcass isn't there just for looks. Like the wolves will go up and they'll chew on its butt. <laughs> looks funny. And you can see the blood on the carcass. So yeah, I like that. I like they do that. It's real good. Uh, it's really good. So I've heard they change the times for the Call of the Wild stream. I don't know. If it, or it was at the day. Did they change the day or the time? I think they changed the time later or something. I'm not sure. I just heard a... I watched a bit of Kiwi's stream the other night. I liked the competition he had. But of course, you know, I can't fly around with my camera, so it must be a, a mod or something he uses. I don't know if you saw it the other night. It was a pretty good competition they had. The way that he can fly around and see every player. I think he had six people on this map and they all had to draw their own little section where they hunted. So one guy you know, like hunted here, another person hunted around here and they all had to stick to their own section and just use a bow and arrow. And then he could move his camera like he is invisible and he can go see them and what animal they're hunting without disturbing anything. It was pretty cool. Although after a gunshot, these areas do settle down usually fairly quick. It doesn't take too long. If a new area animal walks into the area, well, they're not spooked, so they'll come to the call. <laughs> I do like my towers in this uh, game. It's just uh, you do get a lot out of them if you use a bow and arrow. But unfortunately, like I said, that shot, if I had waited, I think we would have lost that mule deer. And we would have lost our 86 GM and, uh, yeah. That will see. If nothing comes in a few minutes, I will move. It'd be nice to get another bear too. <laughs> Make it half a dozen bears for the hunt. Come on down, animals. We love you. You taste awesome. I don't know, I've never eaten deer. Any, any of you guys eating deer? Can you eat elk? Do people eat elk? I suppose they do. Is that venison as well? What about moose? Can you eat a moose? <laughs> we don't have these animals in Australia, so I don't know if you can eat them. The people eat everything here. They eat snakes, crocodiles, sharks. Like, there's everything here, so... I suppose you could eat a moose. I don't know what it'll taste like, though. Would that be tough, mate? They'd be really gamey, mate. I've eaten kangaroo. And that has got to be the leanest meat you have ever seen in your life. And if you cook it too long, you've ruined it. <laughs> it's like, uh, you got to know how to cook it. But, man, there's not an ounce of fat on the kangaroos. You took took their, uh, their BMI index, what do you call it? Body... So fat ratio on a kangaroo, man, <laughs> they'd be like a super athlete. 
Like a rabbit, too. Like, if you get a, a wild rabbit, you're not going to get a lot of fat on that. But I don't know. I've never eaten deer. I've never, you know, tried it. Or an elk or a moose. Can you eat moose and elk? <laughs> Imagine you can't. Oh, there we go. So straight away, we've got another mule deer corn. Where are you? In front of me? You are. I wonder if you're one of the ones from earlier. There wasn't an Amal with that one. So we'll see if he, uh, if he's a good size or not. It'd be nice to get a bigger one for that competition, but yeah, you're going to have to get a huge one for that one, I think. Although I have, in my time on this map, I think I told this earlier, I can't remember if I did, I've got two competition winner mule deer off this, and it's the competition where you have to shoot a mule deer for shotgun, so you've got to get pretty close to them. And back then I didn't have towers, so I was just, uh, you know, bushwalking it. <laughs> and I think I won it twice in one month, but I really went for it, like I, I kept coming here and hunting and hunting and hunting and hunting non-stop. What size is it? Was oh, that a female? Was that a male? Ah, it's just, could be that small male that was with the bigger one. We'll take it. We'll let him walk all the way in and bow an arrow in. Instead of shooting the gun. But every now and again here you'll get a mule deer and they'll come in a pack. Three or four. It's like the mule deer brothers. It's really cool when you see that happen. I saw had it happen like that, and in between them, there was three normal mule deer, and in between them was a non-typical. I got, I took the non-typical, of course. <laughs> uh, can I hear its feet already? I was hearing stuff. They do come in a bit quicker than a black tail, which is good. Black tails can be painfully slow some days. Same with white tail every now and again, too. Well, they sort of march in pretty quick. Yeah, that is going to be worth. Uh, lucky if that's going to be worth 30 GM. Look at it. That is tiny, man. Come on, don't just stand there looking at me, mate. Walk in. Hey, he's just going to walk up slow now. He got there pretty quick, though. I'll have a drink here while we wait. Ah, cordial. Everything I hear on the side, it must be his footsteps I'm hearing. I'll try to call this one and make it walk a bit sideways. Will it do that for me? Come on, buddy. Uh, well, I'm not going to get much of a sideways shot on it, but it should be enough. I can stop any time you want now. That'll be the last bark you do, buddy. Right, we'll go pick him up. All right, let's see how much this is worth. I'll be surprised if we get 30 GM for this. You never know, but, you know, I don't think so. Here we go, little bugger. Not even worth looking at your antlers, really, they're that small. That'd still give you a good stabbing if it ran at you. 
Uh, it's only 94 kilos. We're going to get... Oh, 41. So it surprised me. It just looks so small. I don't think we get that. Oh, what we're going to do now, just to finish up, we're going to head back here. And I'll walk down there here. See if we can find a bear and an elk down this way. Ah, uh, here we are. So let me just put a dot to here. We could, I'm not going to... No, we're not doing that. I don't even have camping gear on me, I think. I might have, but I don't want to waste it just to go there. And I can't travel now because we can't travel for another 30 minutes. Uh, did my dog come? Yes, it did. All right, dog, we're out of here. I'll call out, call down. I don't get as many mule deer here. I don't know why. It just there seems to be more elk in this forest. And you got a grizzly. So have we get another grizzly. It'd be really nice. We will call mule deer while we're here, but... I, just, I don't seem to get them on this side as much. Uh, did the dog get through that gap? Nope. <laughs> uh, and I call it. Sometimes it gets stuck. They get stuck around the lodges. Oh, here it goes. See it on the <laughs> hunter mate. The green dot running around now. Oh, it should be fine, I hope. As you can see, the dog comes in pretty handy for the tracking part of things. And she's a quiet girl. Pretty quiet, the dogs. Alright, so I've gotten a, a fair few grizzlies in this uh, forest that sometimes I've been walking to this stand and I get attacked by them. So, I haven't been attacked by one today, which is uh, a bit disappointing. I do, do like the attack. I like the growls they do. And you know, you know at that second that this thing's going to go, yeah, so... But every now and again, they start the attack and then they they will run every now and again. They start it, then they break it off for some reason. I let a pig kill me at a logger's point the other day. It was a female. I was really ready to end the hunt. And I just said to everyone, oh, this pig's either going to run off as soon as it sees me or it's going to kill me. And then I heard the noise from them, yeah, it's going to kill me. And they said I went flying. Down the hill, it would kill me. <coughs> Which I don't care. See that the hunt, so I you know, I wanted to be transported back to the outpost anyway, so <laughs> what better way to do it? And I uh, get killed by a wild feral hog. Usually this is better on this side in the morning, but you know, try our luck again in the afternoon. If you had the Jeep, you could actually drive it around this uh, map, because it has, oh there we go, it has some pretty big roads on it. All right, so you're this way, okay. Excuse me, coughing there. So I'll just get up here. It's still pretty far away. We get on top of this hill here and look down. Yeah, it's down near the road. I think the wind is okay, I can't really tell. He's blowing. I just don't know which way. You can't, oh no, it's blowing sideways. You can um, get wind indicators in this game, I never use them. I think I've, I've even got some. I just, I've never used one. Oh, let's be careful here. There's the road. So the elk was on the other side of it. Somewhere. Is that the road? Is that a track? Oh, it's got to be the road. 
Let's just sit here for a minute. Let's get the dog to uh, stop. Stop, Bill. Give it another call. Let's see if we can get it to answer or not. Yeah, so it's just maybe it was a bit more along that way. So it might walk up through there. Might come up through this way. As if it hasn't already smelt me and the wind is blowing that way a tad. I don't really want to use the gun unless it's super huge. <laughs> Closer. That rattling anyone's cage here. I can get on this rock. Uh, yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that surprised me. Usually, sometimes you can't get on it. There it is. All right, there it is. Oh, that looks okay from there. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, damn, man. See what I mean about this elk spot? It's really nice around here for elk. Like I said, you won't get really mule deer here. So we're just going to have to sit up here and be very quiet. I think we're going to get both because they're too close. Uh, is the, oh, there's freaking three of them. Let's just not shoot anything yet. I think they're going to run. That one's looking at me. Look at that. Oh, there's four of them. What are you saying? The 320. Oh, that back guy there. 375. I might have to take this front one. Oh, so close. What we're going to do is head back to our stand. These things are still going to be in this area. So there's not a problem there. Uh, we're just going to be quiet all the way down. That's why I come here for me, Alp. When I was doing the share of skulls, I've done most of my hunting on this side of the map. And it was just elk after elk after elk. I just couldn't find big enough ones to get anywhere in that competition. But, you know, it wasn't through want of trying. I've got another one calling now. So I want to get to this stand so I can just sit back and uh, let them come into me. So I'm not going to call just yet for now. I'm going to wait till I get there because you start them walking to you, then you walk into them and you scare them off again. Man, yeah, I was just about to shoot that one that ran off. I think once we had a shot one, they all would have ran anyway. So that's why I'll just take this first one. They're all similar in size. I don't think, that, you know, you would have had one bigger than the other, but not, not too much. So it wouldn't have mattered. If we get to the stand, we might be able to get, you know, a couple of those back. Oh, here we go. We've got one, two, three. Oh, we've got four. I love that when that happens. It looks so cool. All right, so we're getting close to it. We're across this road in front of us and then at about another hundred or so metres. So if you like elk, you know, the Rocky Mountain elk, this, out of this outpost, if you come this side of it, and there's that lake there, and if you don't have a stand, if you have a tree stand, or even you're just sitting on a rock, you just sit back and call them in. And if you're using your bow and arrow, you'll get a fair few of them. I'm just going to be nice and quiet. Because they won't run away too far. It's, you know, it should all still be in calling distance when we get to this stand. There are plenty of rocks here. So you could walk up on this one if you had to. Yes, you could. So you could use this as your own little hunting stand. You know, and hopefully the wind's blowing the right way for you when the elk comes. I 
Ah, nearly there. Once we cross the road, we're almost there, sort of thing. I probably would have paid to use the camping gear and travel not to the outpost, but straight to there. They're still calling, man. Right, now he's behind me. So what I'm going to do is just give one call to him. Get him walking the right way. Right, that's it. Now, that, if he was walking up the hill to my last call, that should turn him. Should turn him around and start bringing him back this way. There's one just there. Is that a male or female? That's a male. Right there, man. It's one of those big buggers. I don't know if it's going to turn. Have a look at it. Can you see it? Oh, that one's not too bad, is it? Jeez, that could be the best one of the day. Sit dog. You just stay there, mate. Lay down, even. I'm gonna give him another call. I reckon that could be the best one of the day. I think I've seen a better one yet. Are you gonna turn around, hey fella? Yeah, that, that, you know, I think it's gonna be about probably a 340 or something. But it's a nice one. It's not bad. Come on, turn. I can shoot you with a gun. I really don't want to if I don't have to. I think it's still a bit spooked from running off with its friends. But it's not that spooked where it's, you know... I'm going to have one coming up behind me now, too. Come on, mate. Hey, what's the wind doing here? Sort of not a lot. Yeah, come on, you nearly want to turn, don't you? Oh, I've got something walking up. Oh, my God. Oh, mate, did you spook? No, you didn't, thank goodness. I reckon the wind's blowing that way because that one must have smelt me. I don't think we hit it. I think we <laughs> it ran and I shot. If we hit it, we probably hit it in the butt. I'm not worrying about that one at the moment, though. Come on, mate. Turn around. Like, I really don't want to go to the gun because there's so many elk here at the moment. Ah, oh, it's just stamping the ground. Come on, bud. I got, I'd do a fail shot from here for bow now I'm just hit you in the bum and, you know, that'd be no good. I'm surprised we got this close. Oh. There's one right there now, look. Look at that. That's smaller. Yeah, way smaller. I'll take it if it gets you. Oh, I've got no freaking bows in there, so it won't, won't be happening, will it? Where are the bows? Here. All right. Why'd they do that? That is getting crazy. Right, he's still standing there doing nothing. Now I've got one in here, which has just stopped. So this is the fall that came up before. Stop, stop, stop. I think you were the one that originally spooked them all. So cop that. You won't be spooking anyone again, my friend. Come on, I need this one to turn around. I might shoot it with the gun in a minute because I don't know if the wind's blowing that way a bit. I really don't want to lose it. I don't even hit the back of the head. But just, that's it, turn, 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 mate. Oh, yeah, 
right, I'm going to shoot it with the gun because I'm not trusting this wind now. It seems partially spooked. Oh, I've got no freaking bullets in the gun. Okay. Never fear. I've hit it. I think I hit it up near the near the back. Let's grab this. Uh, before we do anything, man, how can I do that? I just run out of, I had no arrows in the bow, I had no bullets in the gun. Do not do what I do. <laughs> oh, dog. Oh, great. There's another one. Hold Where are you? Man, I can't even get to this stand. Uh, what sort of blood we got here? Oh, we got good blood. We got good blood on this one. We're in the dog on what, mate. Bit of long blood there. I'll stand up and make the dog move quicker. I'll go back to crouch. Alright, so that's when it's walking up. Hopefully it hasn't got too far. We can get to this uh, stand and... Oh, look at that. Nice blood. Yeah, you shouldn't get too far at all. I thought I aimed a bit high. He sort of moved his neck as I pulled the freaking bow back. Oh, okay, he's just going to be up here somewhere. This should be the best one of the day, I think. Almost. Looks pretty good. More blood. That's what we want to see. Have you found him, mate? The dog's running. Look at it run. Man, it's flying over the rocks. <laughs> it's, uh, it's doing some motocross. Uh, so we got a, I think we got a couple here this morning. And it seems to be turned it on this afternoon here. A lot of elk are out. Please don't run down towards the lake. Please be dead here. So I'm like, oh, you're bleeding. You're like a haemophiliac. You should, you should be laying down dead, my friend. It's running straight, though. I'll give it that. Very straight line. Oh, how close are you? Oh, you're behind me? So that's good. We'll leave you behind me for now. That may be the one we shot at and missed. I'm not sure if it's the, <laughs> that's what it's doing. Come on, dog. Don't lose it. What are you doing, mate? It gets stuck on rocks. Ah, right, she's off. I'm going to stand up here now. Find a girl. Do your job. Oh, I want, I want that track. Intestines now it's saying. So we had heart lungs now it's saying intestines and the dog's stuck on a freaking rock. Oh, you, you'll be able to get around the dog, you'll be right. So this is going to run a bit longer than we thought. I hate that, it said heart, lungs at first, then it said intestines. So it's going to die, it's just going to, you know. There goes fleeing, it's going to take a little bit more. And I thought I aimed a bit high. Man, what, did I aim low? <laughs> we get a lot of arrow drop on that. All right, down here, dog. I think we, it's down here dead, mate. Is that it? So it could have a body attached to that. It does. Let's let the dog find it so it just levels up. It's hard. You're going the right way, dog. You're doing good, girl. Come on. That's it. I've really done these dogs well, the way if you would just watch your dog, you know, tracking. It's pretty cool. Alright, she has found it. 
So we can go to the tower after this and try and bring another couple in. Oh, has she found it? She's almost there. Come on, girl. Girl, she's there. You're supposed to be barking at me, man. Yeah, I just want to make sure she can find it. There, look, just there. Or you're just not barking. Look, right there. There we go. Look at that. Good uh, trophy shot pose, too. I'll stand behind it because I did take a trophy shot with it. Well, uh, you know, it still needs more times than that, but it's decent. Look, we hit the neck there. We did hit high. I thought we hit high. We did hit lung and intestine. All right. So it's a free fall one. Yeah, this is the best one, don't think. The other one was like a free 20, maybe. So that's not bad. So what we'll do, hit that, hit that. I thought I used an arrow on this, didn't I? So it's arrow in my hand. And uh, I'll do, my friend. All right, now to our little tower over here. I'll give this uh, other elk out here that was calling another call back. So I reckon the other one we aimed at, we missed, or we hit it in the butt, because it just sort of started to run as soon as I fired, so I'm not sure we even hit that. But we might be able to get the other one to come in and finish that one off. Yeah, it's coming in. Ah, it's coming in from behind me, so I can keep calling that. Alright, I'm going to dump the dog in a tick. We'll dump it near these rocks. I'll get a little bit closer and I bet he'll do. Right, come here, girl. Come here. All right, once again, you can use that rock as a, you know, like a little stand as well. Get down. There we go. Come on. Good girl. Stay. Right, here we are. The double stand. I like these. I think it cost me, I don't know, I think it was 10400 Or it could have been 11400 Something like that. In GM. And they, they walk right up to it, man. It's amazing how close they get to you with this uh, stand. I don't know how they don't see you, but <laughs> I'm not complaining. It just looks weird sometimes. Look like up, they should see you well before they get that close. Ah, right, here it is. So let's get in it. We'll keep calling. And, uh, oh, something just ran in back there. That's the trouble when you do walk and make noise. These animals will just, uh, they'll go away and run off. Uh, so remember to stand up when you get in this thing. It puts you down on your knees. I know we just get to sit back and wait, see what comes in. Dog's back there. I think the elk was walking in that way as well, behind us. I saw something run in front of us. I think, it, I don't know if it was a female or male, but... Oh, I'm hearing feet already. Where is it? Something's walking in. I can't see it though. Where are you? There you are. Oh, it's another male. Once again, it's decent. There we go, 225 to 320. Let's see how close it'll get. Yeah, so they, they get pretty damn close, don't they? It's crazy. Uh, let's leave it there and call it. Might have another one coming in. I don't know. The other one's seen further away. So unless that bolted the last 50 metres, I think there might be another one coming. There we go. Uh, you're out this way. Uh, let's give you another call, my friend. Yeah. 
Oh, I just hit my lights on the keyboard by accident. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's elk city out here. It's really good for elk. Alright, so we'll come here and probably try and get a big elk. We've gotten a few of them. And a female. We don't want her. Oh, there we go. There's plenty of the lights on my keyboard. They went really dull. But the switch does it. <laughs> Yeah, so we've done better than get one okay one while we've been here. What's that, like our fourth one, I think, since we've been here? Oh, here comes our, an elk. Is that our mate that we're waiting for? Uh, it's only a small one. We'll take it. That's a tiny little bugger. And a female. Go away. <laughs> I think this morning I killed like five females here trying to get rid of them all from coming in. And we still had others coming in. It's like, it just doesn't end with these females, man. That's like the wolf call when they do that noise, isn't it? When you do the wolf out call. That's how it sounds. Yes, yeah, this part of the forest it just is full with elk. Well, we, you know, we haven't gotten any competition winners, but <laughs> I don't know. And plenty of them making a few bucks. The animal animations look so good in this game. Yeah, I, they they do, don't they? They really take their time coming in, they stop, they shake their head, they stamp their foot, they smell the air, you know, they do a lot of, they have a lot of animations they, they sort of do. That's why I showed the wolf earlier, eating the ass of the elk. Oh, that's really cool stuff to see. Now, I can hear something now behind me, is it the female? There's something near me. Do I have I have arrows in this time, right? Beautiful. Oh, he's just gonna park near the tree by the looks of it. I got something around here walking in, I just can't see it. Oh here we go, come on buddy. Oh man, there's the female there. That's what I'm hearing. Go away. <laughs> you need to call it. It says piss off. <laughs> oh my god, they were coming right at the same time. I'm not calling anymore. It's waiting, waiting, waiting. I want him just past that tree before it. Oh, he got it quicker than she did. Good, good boy. Oh. <sighs> Pretty sure that I heard something else run off as well. Alright, so we'll pick him up and then we'll, uh, we'll just keep crawling a bit. Just get his body out of the way here. Hello. 50. Wait, 50. Ah, was that it? Oh no, there is another one here. <laughs> That's right, I did have two there. Alright, so you're the smaller one. You'll be like 40 probably. 45. Alright, back in our little uh, tower. Yeah, I do have good animations in this game. Okay, both games are different, which is good. You know, you want that anyway. 
Cool Wall's got a, you know, a fair way to go, I think, to... It's only, what, five, five years old or something. This is like 12 years old now, this game. We'll try a mule deer, but I really... Hard. I do get him here, but not much. I'll let him try it. Wolf, man. We get wolf here, that's for sure. Unfortunately, when you do that wolf caller, that actually also calls in female elk, not male. <laughs> so she answers that. <laughs> she thinks there's another elk, female elk over here. Yeah, it'd be cool when they bring in the fellow deer into classic. I like when they, you know, if you get a new animal in, in the game, because now we don't really get much in this game. Because it, it's old and stuff. Yeah, to get a um, new animal would be awesome. Well, I don't hunt fellow deer a lot in the core, although I used to a bit, but I imagine when you get a big one in here, they're going to look huge. They will look awesome. <coughs> Is there any male elk left in this forest? Have we just killed them all? <laughs> Oh, yeah, got like about five or, you know, something then. It's pretty cool. Just on out, you know, walk down here and get to the stand. Get a bit of action. I don't want you, though. If you get too close, I will kill you just to get rid of you, but it is a waste of an arrow when you do that. It's coming up through this tree, I think. Where are you? I can hear you. Oh, there you are. Uh, it's in the tree here. And it stops. Good on you. Oh, there we are. You stay there, my little friend. That might be annoying us again anyway. I think we got three wolf here this morning. But, alas, they may not be in the area now. So as you can see in this game we've seen so far, that I do use towers and stands a fair bit. But it is, uh, you know, if you find the right area to put your, your stand or tower in that you know that will produce sort of animals a lot, it's worth it. Like even though this probably cost me 10,000, what did I say before, 10,400 or 600 or something for this. Since I've had it here, I would have made that money back just through killing elk, I reckon. So you got to look at it that way too. This game's long term. You got to look at this game in a long term sort of mode. Like you know, you pay that much for it, but eventually you'll make all that money back on the animals you get from it. So there were four big male elk. I think we've gotten them all. Maybe mum got away. We were either hidden in the arse or we missed it all together. Oh, we have a mule deer. It's a female though, right? Oh, uh, go home and get your dad, mate. I said we hardly get mule deer here and a female walks out. <laughs> it's not what we want. I might have to kill her. Oh, she's going to come through the trees here, is she? 
and come through the goalpost. It's a goal. <laughs> ah, it's walking backwards now. Okay, goodbye. And no, <laughs> no idea why it just turned around and walked away then. Oh, I can hear, I hear something else coming in. Another freaking female elk. You got your dad behind you? Or your uncle? I met your big brother. Uh, we'll take her out too. Just to get rid of the annoyance. Uh, you gonna do crazy turns? I don't know, is that all the elk in the area? Have we killed everything? I have no idea. We've killed a lot of them. I don't know how this game works though. Like if you kill like five elk here, the five elk spawn somewhere else on the map. I don't know. Does anyone know how that works in this game? Like I've never delved deep enough into it to find out how the respawn oh, works in this game. I think we've got a bear out there as well. We do have a male grizzly. Hopefully it's walking towards us. Now, fortunately, which which I think is fortunate anyway, we can't call him in. In this game, you can't call a bear in. But with any luck, I don't really want to get out of the stand and try and go for it because it might run off and it could be a whole waste of time. But if we're lucky, it walks this way. We'll try... Um, I think mule deer will come in the afternoon around here, around this lake, probably. Apparently there's more of them up here, this side. One day we're going to go up here and hunt along this road. And up up around here. I reckon we'd find a few grizzly bear up there myself. There's some parts of the map, like I don't go to a lot. Because then I get stuck along the river, I go to my towers, I go here. And I go, right, I've had a hunt. I'm off, I'm out. But there's a lot of parts that I don't actually check out on a regular basis, which I should every now and again. Get off my butt and go for a walk. I got more feet. Uh, another freaking hell. We all know what it is, don't we? It's another female. The game is so realistic, they probably spawn in as babies and you have to wait for them to grow up. No, it doesn't, because every time you come into the game, you get a whole new batch of animals on your map. So if you see an albino today, you better get it today. You better get it this hunt, because next time you spawn in, it's not here. So I'm like to call the wild where the animals stay on your map, and say you saw a melanistic bison, and you missed it. You know when you go back to that map, it'll still be on there, where this game doesn't do that. So you just keep getting, uh, every time you'll get new animals. Man, it's getting a bit messy down there. <laughs> oh, there's that bear again. I reckon it got closer to. Oh, more feet. Now what? I said, meal deer. Go away, you. <laughs> so the male bear's still out there growling away. Oh, damn. I can see another female elk. Go away, and run out of arrows, man. Look, that's even smaller than all the other ones we just killed. Uh, this thing's gonna, let's see if we can call it, make it walk through the goalpost there. So the two trees. If it goes through, we get a goal. A goal, we got a goal, guys. Six points to us. And no points to him or her, <laughs> I mean. Oh my God, there's females everywhere. I remember to pick them all up. You got another one in front of me. Now all this blood and uh, dead body should attract at least 10 grizzly bears. You know, I think a bear can smell blood like from 10 miles away and food. So that grizzly should be attracted to us right now for all this death around us. It should just come bolting up, mate. Teeth are grinding, <laughs> claws out. Go on lunch. <laughs> but you know whether it comes this way or not bears do walk funny they usually don't walk in a dead straight line 
What's that? No idea if we're going to see it or not. Uh, that's enough females, please. Because there are just too many of them. Well, the females spawn back in pretty good because I killed them all here this morning. Killed a ton of them. And they're, they're all back. Yeah, that is a tiny female, man. Just looks so... <laughs> it looks smell, <laughs> malnourished. What do elks eat? Grass? What are they? What does an elk eat? Plants, leaves, grass? You, you haven't been eating your carrots. What are you doing? Uh, you might as well come in and join your friends. It's a big party. <laughs> When in the end, everyone dies. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's got you moving. Uh, so we got a goal with the uh, mule deer. That was awesome. I was wondering if we would walk through the two trees. I've got a male coming. Uh, you die because I have a male coming. Where are you? Uh, it is out this way. So I'll keep calm. That could be a cannibal. It just looks skinnier than all the other females. It just looked a bit like it needed a couple of pizzas or something. Alright, let's just sit back and see what happens again. We might... The run of females might be over for a little while. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five in front of us or around us. So I think it's time they uh, sort of dried up and just give us a couple more males would be nice. And that male bear, if it walked in, that'd be brilliant. But I don't think it's going to happen. I hope we can see it out there somewhere. It wasn't super far away either. It wasn't like, you know. But to see through some of these trees is pretty hard. Can we finish on a huge elk? How long have I been streaming? Wow, five hours. I am. <laughs> I haven't done a stream this long for a little while. Uh, when you're enjoying it, why not? You know, just uh, do that thing. And sometimes I come out and have a hunt like this, and I, I record nothing. I don't stream it. I don't record anything. I don't talk. I just, you know, because you're alone. <laughs> I just hunt. But I'm glad I streamed this one. It's been a pretty good hunt. It hasn't been too boring. Which can happen in, like, you go to White Hart sometimes and you do a stream and it could be half an hour when you don't see an animal. <coughs> so you got to have something to talk about. Or, uh, you know, people will say, what the hell's going on with this guy? Alright, come in quick, mate. Where are you? Should be coming. Like they all tend, the, the elk are really good. They do walk in. Rarely do they, you know, ignore you. You might get the odd one. And I'm hoping this one is uh, maybe one or two together would be nice. I mean, two or three together would be nice. It's probably just a single one. Is there anything you can see, like with this stand? Oh, oh, look how close that one got. And these ones, and the males are the same. Yeah, unless the wind sort of triggers them. Because you can't really make noise in here. Like, move around, you don't make noise. I'm just surprised like I'm standing here how do they not see me that's what I wonder how does it not see me because there's nothing in front to distract them or anything it's just me standing here uh, another female that's not what we want we've got plenty of them
But I like to complain. If they can't see me, uh, all the better. I can, you know, have a better hunt that way. I can understand that when they don't see you in a tower, or maybe sometimes in a tree stand, because you're pretty high up. I'm pretty much at eye level here. Ah, so it was coming this way, so it'll probably walk through here or through this tree. Uh, I'm hearing feet. Where are you? Yeah, don't be a female, please. Oh, there you are. I call this way so it doesn't look at me. I was going to walk straight through here. Got it actually pretty quick. I'm surprised. See it walk over the other elk to get there. Oh, let's put another bunch of arrows in just in case. Lucky I brought a lot of ammo today. Let's give another call because there was another one behind it. You never know. I just like the way it walked over its dead friend. <laughs> and then, uh,. <laughs> Oh, it looked funny. There we go. So that's why you wait. You don't get out of your tower straight away. There we go. It is just over there. It's amazing. You get one male and then you don't realise when I was... Like, they're coming up in a couple of them. I don't know why they do that like that, but they do do it a fair bit. And then there it is. Uh, so they're all pretty average sizes today. We have gotten like one that was, you know, pretty cool. But they're all been like this size today, or just a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Ah, oh, you're a good boy. Are you going to go through the goals? I don't think so. I think so. I should walk over your dead friends. <laughs> they get the call. It just seems rude of it. But it copped it in the end. Oh, we are going to get another call. No, we're not. Oh, I missed shot that one. There was another one behind it. I'm going to call. Just keep calling. Because I got so near the tree then, I'm shot. I was waiting for it to go through the gate and get another goal. But <laughs> it went the opposite side. My bad. We'll give it a couple of minutes. If it doesn't, uh, we don't hear nothing, we'll, we'll track that down. Hopefully I've done a good enough hit on it to put it down. After we pick up all the, the death and destruction around me here. I just want to hang out because there's another one coming. Oh, it could be cool. Oh, we could start picking up dead bodies. Oh, get out. Alright, let's start over here. Oh, what do you reckon? Going to get 45 GM for this? So 326, we're actually going to get it 52. We get nothing for this. Oh, but when you pick them up before it calculates, it sort of has a lag spike when you do that, but no problem. Look at that, right through the neck. Thank you, and into the lungs. Oh, the lag spike there, or just sort of trying to game catch and up to itself. These are all just a waste of arrow because there's no score and there's no money. Ah, now we've got our goal kicker here. He got goal of the week. Or she did. Thank you. Now, that's all the males, right? There were none of the males, right? That's it. Got all the males. And we hit this one here. Oh, heart lungs. All right. Maybe if we're lucky, it won't be far. Seems to run straight. There we go, more blood. Uh, you get your blood? Your blood. 
I'm surprised my dog hasn't gotten up yet. You just want to do this when I walk so far. I was like, uh, where's he going? And it just starts to follow me. Oh, still live. Any competition? Yeah, I've joined um, a mule bee one, an elk one, and a wolf one, and a grizzly one. Um, I'm not doing good in any of them. So, <laughs> the competitions are safe. I will not, <laughs> will not be uh, claiming any trophies after this hunt. I think they go for a couple of days. I think they end probably on Sunday afternoon here. So if I come back tomorrow, you know, I've got a chance of doing whatever in the competition. But, you know, I just enter in case. It's uh, no big deal. But I've done all right this uh, year with competitions, really. I've, I've bagged a few trophies already this, this year. And one was the first place, so you got to be happy with that. And that was in a reindeer comp. And the other ones I've gotten a lot of third places in a Sitka D one, a third place in a Bison one. What else? I got third place in a Turkey one, I think it was. Um, there's one more, I think I got another third place in a lot of third places this year. Ah, uh, did you run out this way? Or does it seem to be going that way? Uh, here we are down near the lake now. It's, it's a nice area around here. It's very nice. Uh, you're fleeing, so that's the track I want. So you went this way. So even though apparently it's bleeding from the heart and lungs, it's uh, it's getting a good run on. But as long as we have enjoyed the game, it's okay. Yeah, that's it, you know. Um, I really come out to here to hunt and get my hunter score up, make some GMs and enjoy myself. But I enter the competitions because it's that just in case. I was watching this guy the other week. He's uh, He plays this every now and again. And he's... Uh, what's his channel called? The Survivalist or something. And he was hunting Ruggeroo Bayou and he got this huge feral hog man. So I sent him a message going, you ever think about joining the competitions because that hog you shot probably would have got first place. But he says he's not interested in comps. But he shot this hog, I, I swear. It would have, you know, if you had been a comp, it would have been first or second place this big. It was huge, man. Oh, here we are. I don't have to look too far. There we are. Might go look at the lake, eh? Look at that. Another nice, uh, you know, if you're going to take a photo shot, that is a beautiful uh, pose that it's in. All right, guys, 50 GM. Oh, right on, right on, 50, mate. I'm pretty good. At, <laughs> I'm better with what the GM's worth than what the score is. Yeah, because you shoot so many of them, and you, you sort of get to know what they're all worth. Let's do a few calls down here, because a lot of them are coming up through here. Right. So a lot of the, their milk would have you know, been down here and then come up to where I was, probably. This isn't something else. That was probably the one that fleed with it. Was it a male? No, it was a female. Let's just have a look down here near the lake. But as you can see, that stand we're at is a nice spot. You can sit there for, you know, a few hours and make yourself a lot of GM and get yourself a lot of... Uh, a lot of female elk as well, which is a pain in the A. But you can't stop the females coming in. You just got to take them out, get them out of the way. I think we've done alright at that spot. We've done okay there this morning and then again okay there this afternoon. And there's another, another carcass under them. I just love watching them fly around in that circle. It just doesn't make sense. That's why I like it. I just, they don't seem to be flying right, but I don't care. It does look cool. I, the Ibex competition, yeah, there's a big Ibex competition this weekend, guys. I did mention it at the start of this hunt. Is that the one? Does it have 10... Um, like uh, prizes in that one, 
So also when they have a big competition, they have 10 prizes. So like the winner would probably get, I don't know, 100 GM or EM, sorry, 100 EM, and then the second place would get 75, third would probably get 50 or something, and everyone after that would probably get 25 up until 10th, and I think everyone gets a trophy up until 10th, I think, with the trophies. But everyone will make EM. So I might even have a look at that. You know, I, I saw it advertised. I didn't actually look. I don't know what you have to do. Imagine just shoot an Ibex. I don't think it's worth a certain weapon. It's probably going to be any permitted weapon, I'd imagine. And they're a challenge because you can't call them in. It's like, you know, and they're really, really, really sensitive. <laughs> if they hear you, they will just run, man. I did get a really beautiful one up there uh, about a month ago. It's in my lodge. It's a real nice, nice looking one. Curls right back. And it's not the biggest one you can get, but it is a good size one. And because I don't hunt Ibex a lot, I thought, well, I'm going to take this big one and put it in my lodge because I really, I'm really up here. Well, it looks like that may be it, fellas. That may be it, guys. I don't know. We'll see if we can find anything along here. But, man, how five hours and 28 minutes. That is awesome. Well, that's a tight, you know, that's a good, um, nice uh, hunting time in this game. I think we started at 6 in the morning and it's now 4.30 in the afternoon. And days go very slow in this game compared to Call of the Wild because there's no nighttime cycle. So they, they will take longer to get through. But remember, I think it goes to like 7 o'clock in the evening and then it just bounces back to 5 in the morning because there's no night time. Unlike uh, Call of the Wild, you've got the night time in that. So it's a 24-hour sort of thing with that. Oh, Pine, I bet your highest score, Ibex, with the heart or long shot is your competition entry. All right, so you've got to hit the heart or long. That's all right, long shot's fairly easy to get. The heart shot's a bit harder, but, you know, if you hit the lungs, it, it counts as heart and lungs if you hit the lungs. First is a thousand EM, so that's not bad. A thousand. Second is seven fifty. And does it go all the way to ten? Does it go all the way to ten? There, rampage. A lot of times when they do them big ones, there's ten trophies or prizes. So that's good if if you entered that. Yeah, it's going to be hard. There's probably a couple hundred people in that already, man. When they have big ones like that, they fill up. Uh, they don't, there's no limit to how many people can enter. But I mean, like, you'll have, you know, be like the biggest competition of the weekend. And whoever wins that has something to brag about, man. Because you beat, like, 200-plus people. So that's a pretty good brag. And plus you've got 1,000 EM. There goes something there. What is that? I don't know if it's a male or female. I saw its legs. Yeah, thousand man, thousand AM guys. So that is a decent prize. What are you? Ah, oh, you're a female. I so say, show me your freaking head, man. Do you have antlers? But I might uh, have a look at that. I'm not, you know, fat chance of winning it. But you know, you just don't know. You just you, you know. You could be up there and you didn't end the competition. You've seen the biggest thigh bags bloody thing you've ever seen in your life. You go, oh, damn, didn't end that competition. <laughs> oh, it's running. I think, is it running? Does it know I'm here? I don't want it anyway. Just looking at it. Ah, it doesn't seem too spooky. And there's another one over there. So you can see there's tons of elk on this side of the map. 
But yeah, you're going to come across a ton of female as well. Wow, that's hunting, man. There she is. There she blows. There you go. And that's not what we want. We want your dad. And uh, turn you into a... <laughs> uh, an orphan. Let's see how close we can get to it. I like trying this with the females. You just... See how close... We had a... <laughs> One today, I, I head-butted, man. I know, so this one's more awake. Where are we on the map? I just want to see. Look at this hill here. Let's, let's just have a look at this hill. It's like one of those spots you'd get grizzly bears walking around, you know? Maybe, if they can get up there, that is, though. Uh, that's good, a thousand AM seven fifty for second. No hope even top ten, but who knows? Yeah, you don't know, man. Like it's just luck, really. Like even when you call them in animals, you don't know if you call them in a big one or a small one, and you can't call in ibex, so you just got to go up there and uh, be very quiet, not fall off the cliff and kill yourself. So you might want to take a couple of Medi kits in case you do have a fall. And if you don't have a tent, you can still get to the Ibex by going far left on Valdos Boyce. And it opens up to like this pathway you can walk in. I actually have a tent up there. I've done the whole rope thing and whacked the tent up. But if you don't have a tent up there and you don't have the ropes, you can still get up there, man. But you go up that mountain of, of Valdos Boyce and you've got to go to your left. And it's, it clears, you know, it goes to a... It's still steep, but it gets to a part where you can actually walk up without using our ropes. Ah, go away, female. Let's have a look up here. Go up the hill, see if we find any tracks. So it hangs around here. As soon as you get bears on this sort of area, I don't know why. They seem to like climbing up things. Nah, you're not a bear. And another freaking elk. I might have a look at it. I don't know if I'm going to hunt in it, but I'm, I'll have a look and just, you know, see. Yeah, it's a long, long way to go if you don't have any tents at the mountain. Yeah, it's a long walk around, but it's doable. I think uh, Jaxie done it a few weeks ago, because he didn't have a tent there, and he went to hunt Ibex at Valdos Boyce, and he had to. He walked left, far left, and he got up there with no tent, no rope. I, I, who cares showed it, I think, years ago. So it's easily done. It's just a big walk around. But once you're up there, you're up there. And then once you're up there, all you got is the ibex and the flying rats, the ptarmigans. So yeah, that's it. You got to find a nice big one. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? Hope you have a good one. But I like, you know, lately they are, have been having a... I think last week was Valentine's uh, competition. And they had a big elk one. Roosevelt elk. Oh. I might have to go sideways here to get up. But I like when they have a, you know, it's, it makes the game, it draws more people to it, I think, too, a little bit. Once they get into it and they realise that these competitions pay out so much and so many people are in them. So it makes it a bit more exciting. That's why I said to that guy when he shot that big hog, have you ever thought about joining competitions? And he says he doesn't want to. 
But I, I go, it makes it, to me, it's like a game within a game then. It's a, you know, you've got a challenge in that competition. And if you really go for it, you, you feel it. <laughs> you do challenge yourself. You're sort of playing against yourself and not against everyone else in a way. And then if you get in that top 10, top five, you know, you're sort of thinking, oh, if I get one more, one that's better than that, <laughs> who knows? But if you get in the top 10 in that one, you, you should still get a prize, I think. Oh, I'm nearly at the top. I just want to see what's up here. And you can see it's starting to get dark. This map actually darkens quicker. I think it's the way the sun sets here. It sets behind the mountain. It's still pretty light down there. But we are in the shade here, man. It's actually nice down the lake there when it gets dark. You know, it starts to go dark. It's a really good uh, view. I don't think we don't get any bear up here. <laughs> Can they walk up here? They should be able to, but I haven't even seen a track up here. Up there, we should get some. Look, right across there. There's not one track here, man. Let's run a bit. Since there is no tracks, so I don't think we're going to be spooking much. Now, this is one thing you don't really do in this game when, you, when you're having a serious hunt, don't run. Unless you just shot an animal. I think most of you know that anyway. Now, this map seems to be like it goes darker earlier. I think it's just the way that the sun goes behind the mountains here. But then the, the map just in certain parts this starts to get really dark earlier than other maps. Now you should get animals around here, right? I just want to see if we can find any tracks. Uh, we've caught up the sun, so it's lighter now. <laughs> hey, gaming VD. <laughs> did, did we just walk over a collectible? Yeah, we did. We Golden Chantrell. When was my last video? I think, um, was it yesterday or the day before I'd done a, uh, no, yesterday I'd done a, um, Tom Clancy Wildlands video. And I think the day before that I'd done a Logger's Point. Well, they were both streams, actually. And my last video was probably over a week ago or a week ago. I think I hear a bear. There's something like banging. I was hearing stuff. Three years ago. When was my last video? It wasn't three years ago. I do, <laughs> I do a lot more videos than once every three years. Well, I've been done. I've done a. What did I do? I've done like. I've done. As I called it bits and pieces. It was just a video. Then I think I done one after that. On um, I don't know what it was on. But I have done this month. I have done a few just videos, not streams. As I try and remember that a lot of people don't want to watch a stream. They might want to just watch a ten or twenty minute video. Oh, that's all right, man. No worries. Don't worry about it. Right, you know, I don't know what you're saying. A lot of people then, you know, I make probably less videos than I used to now because I'd stream more. As long as the streaming's a bit more convenient because after it I don't have to edit anything. Then I don't, you know, have to have it in the editor and, you know, for hours and then uh, render it and then upload it. It can be a whole day process making a 20 minute video. Because you've got to do the hunt and <laughs> get the clips, go for all, edit them, render them, upload them. <laughs> and, you know, by the time you've done all that, six hours has gone by. And so I like, um, 
the streaming part because I get to see and have a talk to you guys. You know, I can ask you questions, you can ask me questions. Where in a, you know, like on a video, I'm, I like getting comments. But see, I can see the comments straight away here. So, you know. Everything has its advantages and disadvantages, I suppose. But like tonight, if I had done this hunt, right, and I would have, wouldn't have hunted this long, because then I would have tried to do some editing tonight, just set it up in the editor. And tomorrow I would have finished off the editing and then it would have been uploaded tomorrow afternoon. But see, here we have it instantly. <laughs> so... And then when I finish this, which is, you know, I don't know, it's probably 2 o'clock in the morning here in Australia or some crap. I don't have a... Where did I put my phone? I don't even know where my phone is. To see the time. How many tracks up here? I thought there'd be more. Oh, like I'm hearing a, an owl. Maybe the owls come out in the afternoon. Yeah, but I do remember, I do try and do uh, like 20 minute, 15 minute, 7 minute, you know, videos. And so, like I've done that bits and pieces, was just highlights of classic hunts that I had in the last couple of weeks. We did one here, I got two elk, and then the rest I think were all from White Hart Island. Blacktail, coyote. Oh, you hear that? You hear that, guys? It's like an owl. Can we see it? It would be nice to be able to see it. Could be just the sound. It sounds like an owl hooting. Look at that tree. I saw its leaves. In Balkan, the time is 4.55. Oh, you're in Balkans. Cool, man. Oh, you're new to the channel? That's cool, mate. No worries. But, I, you know, I think this week I've done three streams, I think. I'm planning probably to do one tomorrow. Sunday, if I, you know, if I do anything Sunday, it'll be Sunday night, because Sundays I have, you know, visitors and I'm busy. But, yeah, you know, I'll try and do uh, at least a few streams each week, and every now and again in that week there'll be one or two videos as well. Sometimes I do four streams a week. Sometimes I have a break for four days and do nothing. It's just, you know. That's why I don't have a schedule on this channel because I don't want to break it because then you just upset people. If I say I'm going to do a video this day, that day, and that day at these times and, I, and then I miss a day or two, well, that's worse than not doing anything, I think. So <laughs> you're better off not having it. For me, it's better I don't have a schedule. If I made a, a wage out of this, I'd have a schedule. If I made like a 200 bucks a week, <laughs> well then I'd have a schedule. Because then it's worth it to put the more time in and stuff. You know, it's like, like catapults itself. <laughs> Oh man, let's take it for, I thought we'd be at the top before, it's still going. This is part of the map I really go to, and uh, you can see probably why there's no, no tracks around here. Seems like it's a uh, void of animals. Look at these two trees, man. It's like they're exactly the same tree. <laughs> uh, a little bit of difference, but you know, pretty close. It's a goal. I just hope you guys enjoy the streams. I, I, I enjoy just getting out here and chatting to you. And, you know, luckily today we've got a really good hunt. We've got a lot of animals. It was pretty interesting. They've got a rock like this at uh, Hemmerdale. It's really... You expect to find writing or something on it. Like, um... Looks like someone put it here. And you expect to find, like, pictures and writing on it, don't you? Oh, we have, look. There we are, we have. This is, like, the one at Hemmerdale. Let's see if we can make out what pictures are on it. 
Oh, I have to get back. That looks like some sort of dude with a shield or something there. And we've got, I can see some claws or something there. What is it? Let's take this out of my hand. So that looks like a guy with some sort of, I don't know, shield or something there. And we have, what's that, like a half lion, half griffin type thing or something? What is that animal? Looks pretty cool though when you find something like this, just out here in the middle of nowhere. Viking ruins maybe. Vikings? <laughs> Watch out! Men in helmets and axes will come out and kill me. But there's one pretty much similar. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but very similar in Hammerdale. And it's on top of a hill like this. I think I put it on one of my uh, thumbnails a while back. It's just nice to see stuff like that. Like, you know, you don't expect to find anything and there's something. It's like, cool. And that's not a point of interest, is it? No, it's not. We don't even have a point of interest here. This is like nothing. There we go. We've got a lookout here, really, don't we? It's like a lookout area. Tourists come up here and, you know, eat a donut and have a can of Coke and look over the edge. And a grizzly comes up and bites their heads off. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I thought we'd just have a look, a walk around here before I leave. Because, uh... Oh, man, close to six hours. Not too bad, really. But I can do that this map pretty easy. I really do love this map. Just something about it, man. But yeah, if you're ever up here, this part of the map, I think you're wasting your time. We haven't found one track, man. Nothing. But I do want to one time go along here. I'm not doing it today. But we do hear doves or owls around here. I don't know what the hell they are. But, you know, I'll show you, uh, he's looking, he's holding a bow, or I had a bow. That makes sense, because, you know, old style hunting, they didn't really have guns, did they? We had bows and spears and stuff like that. The Aboriginals had some pretty cool weapons, a warmer and the boomerang man. Oh, who the hell <laughs> invented the boomerang? That is so crazy, that weapon. Oh, they did. It's just, you know... I haven't seen any, any other culture use that, a boomerang. I thought they were the only ones who thought of it. Do you play with... I do every now and again. We have a sub hunt, and it's usually a goose or a duck hunt. Because I have the setup at uh, Hirchfeld, we have the Canadian goose setup, and at Ruggeroo Bay, we have a duck setup. So, like, probably once every two weeks to a month, I, you know, we go to one or the other, and I have a stream, and I'll have a password, and I tell everyone in the stream what the password is. And yeah, everyone, anyone is quite welcome to come in and uh, have a hunt like that. I was going to do the one this week, but then, you know, things sort of got on top of me, so I didn't get it, didn't do it. I nearly done it tonight again, but then I thought oh, I haven't been here for a while. I wanted to have a, a Timber Gold Trolls hunt, because, yeah, this is my favourite map. And I haven't been here for a while. I've been going to White Heart a lot this year, and Hammerdale. You know, and other maps. The old Lost Boys went to Red Feather Falls. Went to White Run Ridge a fair bit. Because I was doing a, a lot of bison competitions. I did come third in one. So in the end it was worth it. But man, I killed a lot of bison. To get that third place trophy. But they're, they're fun to hunt the bison. Because they will charge you 100%. 
Okay, thanks for popping in, Game and VD. I hope you have a, a good day. There we go, guys. I might end the hunt there too. I might uh, take uh, Game and VD's uh, queue. And look at that view. That is not bad. Because I think we're not going to get any more animals. The day is uh, getting long in the tooth here. What is it again on time? Yeah, so I think it's 6... 30 or 7 or something like the game then restarts I just take chokes you back to an outpost and it's 5 in the morning or something but yeah it's a beautiful map if you've never hunted here before you've got to get here and just even if you ain't got the deer bleat you'll be able to call on the mule deer that's all you really need hope you guys all enjoyed it I've had a pretty good audience all night I, you know appreciate everyone keeping me company and uh, I should be back over the weekend, maybe tomorrow in the daytime, so I try and catch different people. Or if it's not, it will be at night time, like tonight's one. So we'll just depends on what time I wake up. And because uh, <laughs> I think I have to go to the supermarket and get that out of the way. And we'll see how we go from there. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I kept... Uh, He's entertained and we did get a lot of animals. I really enjoyed it myself and been a long time since I nearly had a six hour stream. And as you can tell, I am running out of voice. So <laughs> thanks for dropping by and I'll catch